discount details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Nail oil. Do you want some of your nail oh, yeah, oil? Yeah, yeah. Deb? Just do my nail oil because we're a little bit um, rushed because yeah. we're talking to Alice and Harry because we've got a little surprise okay. to announce at some point soon, but I can't tell you yet. Well, the first surprise is it's me and not Fleur. And uh, and it's me and not Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah presenter. Ah presenter and Fleur is actually the Lucy Wait. and Debbie show. Um, we've worked together about a million and one times, so we know what we're doing. We have, yeah. Sort of. Ish. It's cracking show tonight. Now, it's a sterling <laughs> silver event where we've actually got a sheet of sterling silver. It's quite dinky. It's about that big. You can get a lot out of it, though. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe the amount you've got out of it. In fact, mm. Leah, yes. outside, there's a pendant that Deb's made. The one with the little heart on the top of the, the pedalite. It... Oh, it's cute, it isn't it? It is beautiful. And also, while you're there, Ryan, Hi. can we get the first kit on? You want the first kit on, 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 yeah, just like, just on set. Is it that one? No, just the actual, the, just the jewellery. Just the jewellery. Jewel um, jewel right, while I'm bossing everybody around, how are you? <laughs> are you hot? Yes. 27 degrees it got to this afternoon, and I've just had the air con sorted in my car, and it's packed up again. No. Yeah, yeah. So I was old-fashioned driving with the windows down. Felt like, you know, one of those dogs that you see on the other. Like, yeah. Out the window. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Uh, right. <laughs> Amazing show this evening. Deb, how are you? I'm all right, actually, thanks. Yeah, how are you? I'm, I'm Just fine. a bit on the I haven't side, had a cup yeah. of tea for about three hours. I haven't had so, a cup um, of tea since three o'clock. Yeah, that was about oh. three hours ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm Brilliant. glad I'm switched It's going to be like a that. really yeah. good show. Yeah. Uh, we have, oh, because we just take a look at this. So this is going to be coming up a bit later on. We're going to be doing this around about 7 o'clock. It is the most amazing. So from this piece of sheet, silver, 95 sterling silver, you're going to learn how to make bail, by the way, for that, which is amazing. It's a skill that you can then apply to any cabochon you have ever bought, ever. Yeah. This is the most extraordinary piece. Now, I have never seen Game of Thrones. Haven't you? No, I know. I shock the world oh. by that comment. However, am I right in thinking that was that pendant just a moment ago Actually, had a tone of Game of Thrones? Yeah, it would Which work. is massive in the industry at the moment. Yep. And that piece as well, all made with the beautiful 95 stone silver sheet silver. But to kickstart the show, oh, by the way, the first hour, everything under £10, let's do a star bye. We're not just going to kickstart the show with a star buy going under £10. We're doing a PR offer on it and it is in fact going way under £10. Should not be under £10 and you're going to get to, uh, the most amazing bundle. Now that's the bundle offer we are supposed to be offering today. We're going to take it under £10 to do it for 9 95 would be boring and 8 95 would be alright. We're going way lower. This is called Clear as Day. Now you are going to get three lots, almost three metres 
of completely natural, extraordinary clear quartz nuggets for four ninety-five. Let's see who's joining us this evening. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six four five. Can I see the call screens, please, wow. Philippe? Thank you, darling. Four pounds and ninety-five pence for six hundred and seventy-five carats using the code BLXC98. Now, if you've never made a piece of jewellery before in your life, trust me, grab that now. It's only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. And in fact, you might actually want to bulk buy on that. Dare mm, I say the that's word? Christmas. Christmas. Snowflakes, icicle pieces, mm -hmm. genuine gemstones. Amazing. Just at that price. Get two or three, and you can actually use it as um, instead of tinsel on your tree. Yeah, this use it for actual draping where you have a little business. Yeah. yeah, yeah, little garlands. That is amazing. It's genuine gemstone. And whether you want to do the tree of life, if you want to just do um, perhaps some memory wire bangles and pop a little shell pearl in along the way, we are really, really, really busy, folks. We've got less than 100 of these now available for you. Hello, Rebecca and Shirley and Anne-Marie and Dorothy, lots of anonymous shoppers and Anita and Rita. Um, Anita and Rita, uh, <laughs> Ali and lo loads more anonymous shoppers. We're doing under £10 for our first hour of the evening show tonight and uh, under fiver to get kick-started. What an amazing That's way brilliant. to... brilliant. Genuine gemstones. That's not plastic. It's not a faux crystal. That's not man-made. They are all genuine, natural quartz. And when you look at the sheer volume of them and the clarity, mm. and every single one has been highly... Every single one of these has been found in the ground, cut, highly polished, drilled, and stranded. I wonder how many are actually on there. Because four, do you want to count them? No. No, I do not want to count them. All right. Thank you. Very adamant. Actually, I would. I would, because it would keep me quiet for hours, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, keep me out of trouble. If you see me asking her mm. to count something a bit later on, it's because we've yeah. had enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, loads of you joining us. Hello, Maria and Karen, Janet and uh, Kathleen, Margaret, Irene, Susan, Janet and John. Hello. And Denise, how are you? Rebecca and Patricia's there. Lots of my regulars joining us. Oh, 800, 6 triple four, six triple five. Look at the sheer volume of genuine gemstones. It's £4.95. pence. You could actually create a whole stall of jewellery yeah, just you could. with yeah. this, and that would look really striking. Yeah. Maybe frozen inspired. Yeah. You could have a blue satin as your tablecloth and your backdrop, Ooh. and then just decorate it with this type of jewellery. Well, I was thinking tea lights as well yes. would look really lovely with this, wouldn't they? Yeah. Just, even if you just um, fixed it onto memory wire and wound it round a glass yeah. tea light, yeah. how awesome would that look? Really gorgeous. And it's quite nice as well when you get. Um, jam jars and you mm, start it yeah. at the top and you can even paint the inside of the jam jar and put yeah. these around. Gorgeous. Woohoo, Lucy and Deb. What <laughs> a fab evening ahead. Deb, your hair is amazing. Thank you. I'd love purple hair too, but I'm not sure I'll be able to carry it off. Why not, Liz? Yeah. If you fancy doing it, do it. You love once. People do look at you in the street though. Do they? Mm. They do. Is it not because you're on telly? <laughs> Mike! <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, okay, I get it. Mike, our director, did a joke because he put the camera on Deb and then took it away again. <laughs> love, love, love the old school bundle, Lucy. I know, Sandra. We don't do enough of yeah. them, out, do we? Phil, can we do some more bundles tonight? Yeah, yeah. And we'll do loads of bundles tomorrow night as well. I'll put the request in for you. By the way, somebody out there, and I've only just seen it on my Facebook page. You messaged me to say, Lucy, did I see you in Telford the other day? And the answer is, yes, you did. Why didn't you come and say hello? We could have had an atta. Why didn't you come for a cup of tea? Oh, I was on the minutes, Deb. Yeah. I was on the minutes. Do you know what, though? I went into Costa, other coffee shops were available, and I saw a friend in there I hadn't seen in about two years. Really? I didn't live anywhere near Telford. It was a fleeting visit. How I know. weird. I know. She doesn't live anywhere near there, either. I know. Um, right, let's, should we do another nugget bundle? Yeah. Or should we save it? Oh, we'll do it. Let's do it. Oh, do you save chocolates? Like, do you have your favourite no. one to start with and then save them? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't, like, save it knowing it's in the cupboard. Yeah, you'd need to start. No, I mean, if I'm on a chocolate mission, I'll be right. able to save the last one I know I'm going to eat. But I couldn't save it to think, like, I'll eat that in a couple of hours. Couldn't no. save it. No. But I will save it till last if I'm in the chocolate right. zone. Yeah, how about you? Um, Are you an eater no, of chocolate? No, I just... Go all the, and then I'm like, oh no, no. Can we not talk about left. it? I'm trying to do my quick sugar thing again. Are you? I'm addicted again. Yeah, I was really good at the start. That of was, the year. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
You were doing really well. I know. I know. Then I went to New Zealand and ate my own body weight in oh, okay. food. <laughs> and yeah. developed. The problem is, we have a child who's still not sleeping, even though we've paid a fortune for a sleep consultant. So I rely on sugar to get me through oh. the day. I'm not going to make that suggestion, Mike, because that's not what you should um, know. Sleep hypnosis. No, there's a controversial book on it. He won't go to sleep. He's just deciding to start the day, you know, at 5.20 with our lie-in this morning. Anyway, moving on. Okay, let's do this one. The Peridot. Yeah. I like those colours you've put together, Phil. They're amazing. That's nice. Do you know what? They're very in keeping with the little project that uh, Deb and I are working on at the moment, which is very much fairy tale based. Really That's nice That's enchanted Woodland, foresty, yeah, isn't it? It is. That's lovely. Now, each of those strands are completely natural, apart from the green onyx. This is, this is, do you know what? I said it was amethyst, it's not. It's a dream. Yeah, I was thinking I was seeing things. No. No. Nope. On this occasion. I mean, it's not. not what you do. <laughs> yeah. For once. That is amazing. Perfect for the tree of life. Absolutely perfect for the tree of life. So you're looking here at Amatrine, Moonstone, Green Onyx and Peridot. Peridot is August birthstone, folks, so that's fast approaching. 0800 655. Now we should be at a bundle offer of £12.80. Come on, Sandra, grab this one, my lovely. Back to the old school bundles. Can I see the cool screens on this one again, please, uh, Phil? We've got limited stock on it. It's the case of the first people to grab it. Go for it, folks. The price isn't even wanting to come in. £8.95 mm. for all of them. So that's all of them are approximately 86 centimetres in length. Is that? We'll just double check that for you. A minimum big, big of... Big pieces of ametrine, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, really mm. are. A real citrine presence yeah. there. Amazing, gorgeous colours. Really gorgeous colours. Well done, Amanda, Janet and Joan, uh, sorry, Janet and John, apologies, um, Brian, Claire, got loads of you there. Remember, take advantage of that, just one postage and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. We are live with you right through till 10 o'clock this evening. We intend to have a little bit of a giggle along the way, but no chocolate. No. I've got chopped up nectarine to satisfy my sugar oh, craving. Nice. It's not chocolate, is it? It's not chocolate. I've got two bananas. So. I've got a banana as well. <laughs> Have a little bit of kiwi. Is that more chocolatey, Mike? <laughs> I want a piece of chocolate. <laughs> it's good for Oh, I found a new one I really liked the other day. It's a salted caramel. <gasps> and inside is espresso and vodka. Oh, no. I don't like coffee. It doesn't even taste like coffee, it just tastes like heaven. <laughs> Amazing. And I don't like vodka. I'll bring some in tomorrow. Because mm. mm. those, actually, I've got tons of. There's a story why I've got tons of those. Um, basically, <laughs> I went into a chocolate shop, got dreadful customer service, so they apologised by giving me all their taste of chocolates and take out coffee mug. Really? Yeah, and they just happened to be these salty caramel ones. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring them in tomorrow. Should it? Yeah. I'm not allowed to eat them then. Right, uh, we've got five of these offers remaining. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Hertrude. Hello, Carol and June. Margaret and Helen and Dorothy and Shirley, Amanda, uh, Andrea, Isabel, Eleanor and Claire. Don't worry, I've not said your name. Wisteria and Wimbledon colours. Yeah. Oh, yes. Liz. What a fabulous way, wasn't it? When's Wimbledon? Must be soon because the be price soon. of strawberries is starting to hike, isn't it? <laughs> and um, the French Open's just been on, hasn't it? I haven't got a clue. Mm. Don't know. If it's not Peppa Pig, I don't know what's going on the telly. Uh, so is it when or is the world? I don't even know when it is. When is Wim Liz when's Wimbledon? I don't know when. Is it next week? First oh. of July. That's a Sunday, isn't it? Hmm, I think so. Uh, eight pounds <laughs> and ninety-five pence. You're like, you're like that man, there's some some man, isn't there, and you give him a date like 300 years in, in advance and he'll tell you what day it is. No, well, I don't, it's not that. <laughs> it's just I know that Charlie's got a party on the 30th. Oh, OK. <laughs> which is a Saturday. 
Thirty yeah. days how September. April, June. Oh November. no, so it's not right. Right, oh. carrying on. <laughs> yeah, so it's not. It's a Monday. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. Now we could have done with this particular show. I'm on the safari show the other night. I lo I love this. This is completely natural. How light? Sorry, microsite. Oh, 0800 644 645. So hang on one second. Because you also get. So, Phil, the cabochons, have they been dyed or bleached? No, wow! Can you imagine those little nuggets of the magnesite mm. with some cappuccino agates? Oh, yes. Mm. And then nice. they, those cabochons are lovely, really lovely. I can, nice see, shapes, that, I can see you wearing one of these when you got on your yacht in Monaco. Oh, it? yeah. When you arrive in your helicopter. Yeah, that'd be nice. That is such a statement. Make the round into look. a nice ring. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be nice. 0800 644 -645. Right then, we're doing an amazing bundle where you're getting absolutely every single item on your screen. No, go lower. Go lower, Phil. Oh, by the way, we're guaranteeing everything under £10 until 7 o'clock, so uh, 6 pounds for four cabochons Frankly. and the strand. This is all genuine natural gemstone. Big, big, big look. One post and packaging price for all of your purchases. This is old school bundling, is it not? It really, this is amazing. These are genuine natural gemstones. Big, impressive look. That amazing heart. That'd be fab just stuck yeah, on the front really of a card. Nice. Is it flat on the back? Yeah. Ooh, so you could just stick um, a brooch pin, glue a bro nice. brooch pin onto the back. Nice, really nice. Nice. Hello, Laura Spellbinding, darling. Hello. Hi, all. Firstly, just had a chunk of chocolate. <gasps> Thanks. Sorry. Uh, second, Lucy, I need to know what these are. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. Laura, when are you in? I'll leave you some in a food bag in the... Um, I'll put them in your pigeonhole. <laughs> 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 they work for you. Yeah. Um, no, I can't just tell everyone where I'm from, can I? Because I've just said it's really bad customer service as well. Mm. So, no, I can't name and shape. No, it's not fair because they've... Because they've then okay, I will tell Phil, and Phil will message you back. Okay. Uh, Phil is currently texting you, Laura, where you can get them. Lucy, are you allowed to eat the chalk in shape of an orange? Because oh. technically that's for a fruit. Well, the thing is, Sarah, I'm trying to ditch my sugar cravings. Yeah, but that's I think I'm with work, you. I, but the problem is, for the, like, the last month, I've justified everything and it's about time now. You know, last night, I think in the middle of the night, my, I, I, was, I was craving a piece of chocolate. It's got ridiculous. Thank you um, on the... Oh, thank you. In on the late on Wednesday, can you also say hi to Jackson? This was with me. Hi, Aww. Jackson. How are you, darling? <laughs> My little birthday partner. Mwah. You all right, Pops? Uh, you can't have Mummy's chocolates. I've got vodka in. Deb, your hair is beautiful. Thank I you. love purple. Very happy to see you guys on here tonight. Looking forward to the rest of the show tonight. Oh, Eleanor, darling. Thanks. Doesn't she look fab? I think people I washed look at it you. this morning. Well, dyed you know. it. You actually dyed it this morning as dyed well. Dyed it this morning. Do you have a, a hair dyeing towel? Yes. Yeah. Or are all your towels But most now... of them are now purple, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because every time I wash it, because it's semi, I get purple off. everywhere. Mm. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. The perils of purple hair. I don't mind. It's worth it's it, It's fine. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I used to buy, I had dark brown towels specifically when I would dye my hair. Brown. 
<laughs> Brown. Brown. Charlie came home today from school and said, Mummy, I tried to draw you at school today, so uh, I hope you don't mind, but I couldn't find a brown because your hair is brown. So I know you also like orange, so your hair is oh. orange, and I think it suits you, so I think you should dye it. Like, <laughs> he is a hairdresser in He's the making. He's a little stylist. A little stylist. Mm. And uh, Freddie today, he made me a cup of tea and a piece of cake in Freddie land. Oh. And uh, I said, oh, Freddie, you're going to be a chef when you grow up. No, Mummy, I'm not. I might be a pirate. <laughs> there you go. There's the two extremes. <laughs> right, cracking on. I would, but I can't. I haven't got it here. Ah. I have up to 24. <laughs> oh. What's that one? Phil? Thank you, darling. Well, they're gorge. Um, right, these cabochons... Can we have oh, a look nice. at the piece that you've made and Wait. show us how you've attached this cloak one this, closest? This one? Yeah. yeah. So the lapidolite that you're seeing here is a cabochon um, that comes in the... So this is the first kit that's coming up. However, you can see that Deb, with the sterling silver sheet that comes in the kit, has made an amazing bale for it. Now, if you don't want the dangly bit, you don't have to go to the dangly no. bit. But that bale at the top... You could, you could use the, the sheet of silver. And then if we can possibly see it from the front, please, Deb. That is absolutely gorgeous. And with the technique that Deb's going to show how to make that, you could then turn that into any shape you want. Any, yeah. yeah. yeah you so can that's do a new like. way of finding a bale. Mm. Beautiful for a talk. Now, the offer in question at the moment is for 48 carats of sodalite. They are gorgeous. They're lovely. Brazilian sodalite. Now I've automatically held it upside down. I quite like. Okay, so we know we're going under ten pounds for everything this hour. We're going under five once again. Three ninety-five for the two folks, and they're genuine gemstone. Oh eight hundred six triple four six four five. That's good. Three pounds and ninety-five pence. Let's see who's getting these ones. Mm. Forty-eight carats. It's completely natural. That's really weird that that's not been dyed. No. For that price. For that, yeah, for that price and to get that colour. Now, I've got to say as well, you're seeing two really different good. ones on screen. You're guaranteed 48 carats. KHRU793 pounds and 95 pence. For two, a pro well, you're guaranteed 48 carats. Hi, Lucy. I will keep away from my house. Just made some chocolate pizza and death by chocolate. Leanne, how are you? <laughs> it seems like 20,000 years since I last saw you. How are you? How's Devon today? Chocolate pizza. Chocolate pizza. You don't have chocolate pizza? I've never had chocolate pizza oh, either. Yeah, it's a whole... Leanne, hun, do you mind messaging in how you make your chocolate pizza, even though I really don't even Is it chocolate it. in the base? Yeah. Basically, oh. you take a pizza base and you put everything on it, don't you? And Death by Chocolate, oh my goodness, it was the most incredible cake I've done in my whole entire life. That's how we met. We bond well, we didn't. We met before that. We bonded over chocolate. <laughs> Hi, Julie <laughs> Susan Watts. How are you doing? I feel your pain on dyes, Deb, because Josie went through turquoise for a week <gasps> off school. Oh, went turquoise for a week off school. I'd and quite they got like everywhere. Turquoise hair. Yeah, but did nice. you. No, I'm pretty, You're, I'm but pretty you did, good. I now think she implied that maybe you went completely turquoise, like you dyed your whole self. My brother-in-law, when he was staying over from New Zealand um, two years ago, did tell us that he can't go to sleep in a not clean pillowcase. He has to have a clean pillowcase every night. And oh. he didn't want to tell us he was embarrassed. So he had just been keep buying pillowcases on the sly. No. He didn't want to put it in the washing machine or anything. And the only reason we got found out is because he woke up one morning, he came downstairs, and he looked like a smurf. Because he slept on a pillowcase and all the dye because he'd not put it through the wash first. Oh. All the dye come off. Two days before the children got christened. He looked like a smurf. <laughs> it was if you look closely on the photo there's just a slight tinge. <laughs> right. Uh, uh. Ooh.
In sterling silver or rose gold? Un momento. Thank you. Ah, thank you, darling. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. These are a sublime, splendid pair of shepherd hooks. What's the matter, Phil? Then 925 sterling silver. I think we've got a little bit of a, we're going to do a clearance price on them. Bulk buy, they're 925 sterling silver. Can I see the call screens, please, Phil? Bulk buy on these, they're 925 sterling silver. Bulk buy on these, they're a pound for a pair. A pound for a pair. How much do you pay elsewhere for a pair of 925 sterling silver shepherd hooks? I think it's quite a bit more than a pound. And how much do you expect to pay more? In a, well, how much more do you expect to pay, rather, uh, for a pair of earrings in a shop if they have a sterling silver shepherd hook opposed to yeah. a plated yeah. in a shop? I think that's where you start to get perspective. Yeah, definitely. They're well, a you pound. Could, you could pay that for um, a base metal pair. Yeah. Of, yes. That's, that's a daft price. For a pound, I'd probably get... 50. Yeah. I was thinking maybe 30. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'd get a lot. Yeah, bulk well, buy on them, folks. Yeah. One post and packaging price for all of your purchases so, um, that you make today right through, well, that you have done today right through till tonight. So get bulk well, buying. If you want fifth, how many have we got in stock, Phil? Yep, you can buy in 50s if you want to. Mm. Go for it. That's go for really it. That's really good. Seriously, go for it. At a pound a pair, go for it. Well, if you sell a pair of um, sterling silver earrings, for between 20 and 25 pounds and your shepherd, shepherd hooks are costing you a pound that's pretty good profit yep the I'm margins serious, are yeah. really good there yeah if you sell your jewelry you need to be seriously thinking about buying these at wholesale prices yeah. by bulk buying mm. this is amazing it's a pound it's a pound it's a pound how much is it leah it's a pound it's a, a pound. pound a pound Pound. Pound, 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 pound. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Mike just has to say, look, a pound. We're doing under 10. I mean, this is under <laughs> two pounds. <laughs> My team. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, not just her hair oh. this time, but when she was sick, she coloured herself with every blue pen she oh. could find. To be an avatar, I totally get Ooh, that. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, so I wanted to be an avatar. Does anyone remember mm. Grace, who used to work with us? Grace and I used to want to be avatars. Yeah. Grace? Grace. Mm, she was one of our tech know Grace. Yeah. yeah, I think it was pre you. Must have been before me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're a pound. They're a pound. OK, let's... I want to know some unfortunate personal grooming incidences. <laughs> OK? Unfortunate <laughs> personal grooming incidences. Let us know. Um, I have seriously overplucked an eyebrow. Oh. Yeah, many, many years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, hair dye. You see, I had a dreadful mm. experience. It was, I didn't do it to myself, it was done to me on live TV. Do you remember the TV programme, The Salon? Where yes. it was out of the Trocadero in Piccadilly Circus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I... Yeah, I had a, a, a dreadful experience where I went in dressed as Snow White and as you do. Um, my castmates. Uh, we were doing Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, and um, it was all eight of us. <laughs> and um, and yeah, they decided that they wanted to make me look like Snow White, even though I did wear a wig for the show. So I walked out of there, but stopped them from cutting it so short, but my hair was jet black, <gasps> and so were other parts of my body. We had to go on stage that night. No. Um, and the man, they didn't edit this in, the man who was cutting my hair said, oh, yeah, I've never actually had a lesson in cutting hair, I just know how it looks good. So I was all right here. As soon as I turned to the side, it looked like I'd sort of been tapped with a pair of God, head shears shimmers. or something, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Bad experiences, Deb. Oh, I have hennaed my hair, and it was like pumpkin orange, which was not good. Did that dye your skin as well? Um, 
No, it smelled like cow pat though. It was horrible. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. I, I That's did what it, it is. Yeah. Then. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you've just tuned in, yeah. these are 95 selling silver <laughs> shepherd hooks and they're a pound. A pound. Um, Leah? Yeah, mine's probably a hair dye one. When I tried to dye it blonde. It when you tried to dye it, oh, it went blonde. Yeah. Like ginger, and it went bright orange. Yeah. Yeah. So had to keep bleaching and bleaching. That was quite recent yeah. as well, wasn't it? I didn't see that. Mm. Good. No. <laughs> I have gone through quite a few bottles of head and shoulders and fairy liquid in my time because that's how you naturally strip your own hair of any no, hair I'm, dye I'm that you've got on. I'm not putting that near my head. Believe me, I was desperate on a few occasions. You can buy stuff that you can gets, buy rid, now. Yeah, yes. gets rid of the, dye. The hair stripper. Mm. You can. Yeah. Pound. A pound. Phil. Personal grooming incidences. Have you had one that we can repeat on live TV? He's had a shaver run out of battery halfway through a shave. That's all right. He used a manual razor. That's, that's like that's Well, that's life changing. That's rocketing news, that is, isn't it? Right, let's go and do another okay. item under £10. You keep mm. asking me to do things that are very far stretching away. Very far stretching away. Is that that one? Oh, yes! This is the one that I want. I want it. I want it. Oh, it is nice, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Butterflies remind me mm. of my grandma. She loved butterflies. And I think butterflies, the freedom of flight, I think they have a very spiritual place in the world, butterflies. Yeah. NYRF15. Now, it's 20 by 30 millimetres. This is solid 925 silver silver with a 9 carat yellow gold plate and we're going under £10. Special offer for today. If you are tempted, I dial now. £9.95 for you today, 3.2 grams of 925 silver silver and a 9 carat yellow gold plate on the top as well. I'm going to hold this up to my neckline That's so you can get really some perspective nice. of size. That is such an amazing price. It's, it's um, a really traditional look as well, that filigree type. Yeah butterfly because um, my mum had one in silver that was a brooch so you could actually make that into a brooch that'd be yeah, really that nice be I lovely. think I need that for her yeah. would you if you're gonna make it into a brooch would you just use glue and glue a brooch I'd probably on, wire you? it and then yeah. put um, some um, little gold plated sterling silver beads to disguise where the wire is coming okay, over the nice. front of the the wing Actually, now you said that about wire working, you can actually sew into this yeah. and use little seed beads. We've yeah. got some dinky, dinky, dinky gemstones around at the moment. So some little tiny little diamonds or some of the tiny little aquamarine we've had around. You could just even yeah. wire wrap one little gemstone on each edge of the, uh, of the yeah. wings. Yeah, microfaceted amethyst I had mm. recently and that would be really pretty. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. 9.95, okay, we'll crack on. Mm. Why did I just pull that face on TV? <laughs> the little connectors. Yeah, these are pretty. Really, really pretty. I'd be quite tempted to put them all in a Ooh. row. Glasses on. Oh, she's getting serious. Yep, need a close up. I'd have all of those indulgently Ooh. in a bracelet. Oh, they're really nice. We are going to do these at the lowest price they have <gasps> ever, ever, ever been to. I don't know why I'm arranging them like that when you can't see it like that. There you go. There. They are beautiful. Now, they're a 95 stone silver with a cubic zirconia set in the centre. You've even got a little bit of fluff on there for you. You've even mm -hmm. got the 925 marking on the side. They're gorgeous. Nice. Look at the sparkle on those. Lowest price I've ever been to. 0800 644 655. Let me just grab my tweezers. Ooh. Okay, thinking you. Chunky As little pieces, actually, aren't they? They're, they're really well little, made. Yeah, beautifully proportioned. Yeah. Chunky little pieces. Nice. Little rings. Gorgeous oh, for connectors for drop nice. earrings. Yep. Yeah, between the shepherd hook and the gemstone. Yeah. Or even um, popping them into a rosary linked piece mm. and just dotting them through the chain. Yeah, nice. Actually, you've nice. got a piece coming up in the second kit. Yeah. 
they'd work really well in yeah, that. Yeah, just dotted throughout. Yep. 9 95 lowest price I've ever been to to get them under £10 for you this evening. Can your text messages coming in as well? It's lovely to hear from you. Makes us feel like we're not just talking to ourselves. Mm. Oh, we are, apparently, according to Leah. That's nice. That's mm. nice. Hi, Jilly Doll. I have thick, wild curls. I once oh. got an afro comb stuck in my hair. Put it yeah. up in a scruffy bun as an ornament till my hubby came in <laughs> to help get it out. Yeah, I've had oh, all sorts God. stuck yeah. in my, my hair mom, combs and all sorts. Yeah, yeah. my mum's got incredibly fine hair and Charlie's obsessed with Thomas the Tank Engine and has the oh, no. trains that the wheels go round and he was playing Ouch. trains and he did that on a hair and we had to lather it with conditioner and eventually it came out. God, I thought we'd have to give her a little pixie cut. <laughs> uh, from Julie, when my husband's grandson was seven, he cut all of his <gasps> little sister's fringe off. But it was the night before the school photos. No! Did she have a severe headband oh, that day? <gasps> that's funny. My God, my son cut his eyelashes. Ow! Hi Lucy, Debs and team. My grooming incident. Oh, I'm loving that this has taken off. Hi Marido. Was using hair removal. Oh. <laughs> Phil? Have you Phil? read that? Have you read that? Ow. Are you sure that's alright? We're pretty watershed, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I can say those words. <laughs> Deb will do it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm causing enough trouble. <laughs> Go on, Deb. Hi, Lucy, Debs and team. My grooming accident was using hair removal cream in my private area <laughs> and it took all the skin off. Couldn't sit down for a week. Ouch. Is all, that, that's all I'm, I'm going to say. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, Mike, I really don't need, think you need to worry about it. Do what you got with it. <laughs> Mike's got loads of questions. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're not asking them on live TV, darling, but thanks for no. sharing. <laughs> Maybe oversharing. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Ooh. Well, uh, was that your TV day? <laughs> darling? Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. oh. It's always me, isn't it? It is. I, d I don't know... Why? It's just like, yeah, it is always you. <laughs> it is always me with my techno bits. It's because te I repel technology. Okay, what was that? Sorry, lovely. Number 24. Okay. I think it's a little bit too far away. Ooh. Ah. Gorgeous. Have you used these before, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to explain? Because so, I've presented them, I've never actually used them. If you have... What are they called? I always want to call them shallots, the colours. Shallots, yeah. <laughs> Trousers. Oh, little mini onions. If you look at the bottom there, you've got a little hole in the bottom. Yeah. So your thread can go through there and you tie a knot and then... Crimp it shut, and basically all of the workings, the knot and everything, is in there, and it's nice and neat and tidy. And there they are. So you've got two rose gold. Hang on, and two one pound forty-five. What for four? One pound forty-five for all four. They're ninety-five cent in silver, gold plating and rose gold plating on top of ninety-five cent in silver. One pound forty-five. Grab those as quickly as you can. For me, these are the type of things that give the difference between handmade and homemade. It's yeah. the finishing details. Well, it makes it, it makes it neat and tidy. And it just... Do, it, you don't want the knot on show. So if you're doing, um, if you're doing your pearl knotting, yeah. then you can use these and hide all of the end fixings basically yeah. inside there and I usually pop a little tiny dob of um, glue in there as well. Sorry I just had a problem with my earpiece. So oh, I, I thanks, Mike. usually put a little tiny <laughs> bit of glue in there and, um, and then close it up so it's doubly secure then. They are absolutely stunning they just finish off I think if you're going to be using high-end gemstones 
then this is the way to finish off your piece of jewellery without a shadow of a doubt. Definitely. Well, it does. It does just lift it so that um, you've... And also, with it being sterling silver, it, it just raises the bar, really, doesn't it? Because it, it's a high-end finish for your pieces yeah. when you're using um, a silk thread. So... It's a lovely Most way definitely. to finish things off. And, and it's attention to detail like that that will get you to sell yeah. as well if you're selling your jewellery. Also, there's quite a cool little trick. So if you've got um, a ball head pin mm. and you put it in through from this way, so the ball is inside the um, actual finding mm. and then you've got the, the wire coming out at the bottom, close it up and then you can create like a oh. loop. What a great a idea! So you can then you can then hang um, from a straight piece from of a silver. Straight, yeah, that so is a really great idea. Make a loop on the other end, and um, you've got you've got like a little charm carrier. Or yeah, something. nice. That is really really nice. Jilly Josie again when six scratched her head with kids' scissors, but closed them, and they actually cut huge chunks out. Ooh, became a comb-over expert. expert. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. That wasn't like the plastic ones. Do you mean the ones they've still got the blade and then the plastic on the side? Because Freddie's plays he's got solid plastic ones. It's yeah. Oh golly! When I, I was small, know. I had blonde ringlets that I hated. I cut all my hair off to scalp <gasps> on one side, then hid it around the house. Oh, Sarah! Hid it around the house. Freudy that. Thought Mum wouldn't notice. She did. Um, March the hairdressers. All they could do was cut the other side just a short, grew back dark brown. Oh, nice. I think your body That's was in cool. shock. Yeah. I used to have straight hair. Did you? Mm. Till I was about 11 or 12, and then it went curly. <laughs> I used to have really curly hair. Ah. And now it's gone straight. I figured I'd just teased it over the years with hair straightness. It's forgotten what to do. Well... Keep them coming, we're talking about your uh, cringeworthy personal grooming disasters. Uh, right, we'll crack on. Actually, my godson cut his hair the other week. Oh. He cut his fringe off job? because he said he was being teased about it at school, that he looked like Prince George. <laughs> I said that was a very nice thing, and he cut it off, so he's got little spikes now. My best friend, oh. horrified. She's horrified. Uh, she was like, saving grace, so the school photos have been the week before. Okay, which one's sorry, lovely? Right. How much? Yes. Buy these right now. Three ninety-five for ten pairs of nine two five sterling silver shepherd hooks. How are we doing them for forty p a pair? I don't get that. Forty pence a pair. 925 sterling silver, nine carat yellow gold plated. You can, the thing is, as well, with these shepherd hooks, you can turn them into clasps. Yeah, you can. Yeah. That's amazing. Grab them while you can. Let's see who's getting these ones. AFGP79. Take advantage. Even bulk buy. We've got people buying twos, threes of these deals. You will go through 10 pairs quicker than you could possibly imagine. It's the type of thing that when you get a chance to buy them, £3.95 pence. For 925 sterling silver, 9 carat yellow gold plated. That is ludicrously That's low. Bonkers. That is seriously low. Yeah, it is. It is. 0800 644 645. Hello, Dorothy and Janet and Helen and Helena and Karen and Jenny and Isabel and Lisa and Kath. We're talking about your personal, your personal grooming disasters. Personal, I'm sure there's been more. Uh, Hello, Nicole, darling, how are you? Dorothy May, how are you? Lynn and Pat and Jenny and Kathleen and Gay and Rosalind and lots of anonymous shoppers and Patricia's there and Christine's there. Oh, it's so lovely that so many of you have joined us this evening. Hi, girls. Hi. Hiya. Um, Minas, am I saying your name correctly? I'm hoping so for you, hun. Uh, my girl, um, hi, girls. My hubby was shaving his beard with my little three-year-old next to him. He left to grab a towel came back and she'd shaved half eyebrow and fringe. Did you lose the plot at him? What did you <laughs> do? I need worse. to know the extension to this story, Minas. Couldn't it? What happened next? 
I mean, mm. we're, we're going to go down the amusement zone. Obviously, we do not condone the use of razors and small children, goes out saying, but what did you do? What did you do? Did you threaten him with divorce? <laughs> I mean, how do you handle this situation? What did you do? Or, yeah, what did, what did you do? Did he have to make his own tea? <laughs> how do you come back from that? <laughs> That I mean, is that's, quite serious, actually. That's half an eyebrow and a fringe. Mm. Mm. That's a story for life, that is. That's an 18th birthday story. I hope you've got story. photos. Have you got photos? Mm. Have you got photos, or was it just one <laughs> of those, you know what? Too angry to even entertain the fact that you'll ever find this amusing again in the future. How did you handle it? What would you do? I'll leave that thought with you. We're excited to know, me as. Um, 0800 644 £3.95 for 10 pairs of 95 sterling silver, 9 carat yellow gold plated shepherd hooks. This is bonkers. So for those of you buying threes and fours, you've got 30 or 40 pairs arriving. Ooh, for nice. such a low price, that's incredible. Okay, we're going to move on. If you've got those in your basket, check your basket out and you might just do it. Okay, let's do, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, 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 I love these, they're big, they are big, chunky, chunky, chunky nuggets, <laughs> chunky, not saying that for a while, have I? 190 carats, and they are drop style, so it just means that rather than the drill hole going through the centre of the bead, it's actually sort of gone more towards the edge of one, so it gives you a drop. Got a really lovely variety of tones, of colours. Yeah. Um, Smoky Quartz, the National Gemstone of Scotland, of course. 8 by 7 up to a 16 by 12. 295! Phil, what is going on with you today? £2.95. pence. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Grab them. Two pounds and ninety-five pence. This is the under ten pounds hour. Phil, how much of the rest of the show can we do at such low prices? Okay, yeah, it's going to be a low price show. How low can we go? Mm. How low can we go? Have you got a snack for the break, Deb? Mm. I've got my banana. Mm. I've got some mini sausages. <laughs> mini Pardon? sausages. I've, I've eaten my squid. Mm. I've eaten my sandwich. That's all gone. I thought I would... Hi, Tanya. thought I would try the new aerosol body hair remover. Oh. Went in the shower, sprayed livery on bikini area, then <gasps> realised it was... Ralgex. What's Ralgex? It's like a heat... It, it, yeah. Oh! A heat spray for muscle A heat spray for muscle <gasps> You're so generous with your personal information tonight, <laughs> our amazing viewers. <laughs> oh, Good job yeah. you're in the shower, though. You've got another one. Oh. Yeah, don't put deep heat anywhere else, either. Okay, thanks for that, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, my sister was a trainee hairdresser. Okay, so this is just your sister's. This is not saying all trainee... Trainee hairdressers will do this. Once dyed my hair black, it went khaki green. <gasps> also, cut my hair extremely short and then oh, no. permed it. Look, horrific. Did you look like a little poodle? <laughs> oh, what did you do that oh, for? That's, oh. that's, that's serious. That is serious. I'm loving this. I wasn't <laughs> expecting so much response. Okay, oh, 2 95 on gemstones. Let's do... Oh, yeah, these are great. Do you know what? These are a really great asset, and it's the type of thing oh, you probably think, oh, I don't know, nice. do I need them, do I need them? Uh, the price we're going to take them to, tonight mm. is the night, you just go, yeah. Tonight's the night to buy rose gold. No. Fainted sterling silver beads. They're going That's for 40 That's an amazing price for They're a good size as well. Oh, Three just, millimetres. I'm just having a sing, and Deb carries just, on. She's just so used to it. She's bored by me now. Right. <laughs> Three, it's yours. We've known each other that yeah, long. I just I bore her. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for that. off. Lovely. <laughs> oh, 800, 6, 4, 4, 6, 4, 5. Tell you what, that's a sizeable hole in there as well, so yeah. you can get loads of different threading materials through there. 
You're going to get 40. They're a 925 sterling silver bead and a 9 carat rose gold plating. Grab them, grab them, grab them. VZGP08. We're talking about your personal grooming incidences. <laughs> a friend of mine went to um, a shopping centre. Now, it's not my thing to have your eyebrows done in the middle of a oh, shopping no. centre. Okay? But lots of people do and other parts of hair that grows on the face. And the woman, um, yeah, removed her eyebrow, basically. Oh, completely? Pretty much. So she had to walk around the shopping centre. It's not like she had, you know, an eyebrow pencil. Yeah. They'd all go all bright red. Yeah, and... yeah, it's horrific. Yeah, before, just before a friend's wedding. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that all brow places in the middle of shopping centres, um, that would happen. This was just an unfortunate incident. But yes, it happened. As she walked to the nearest... That must um, hurt, though. ...place to buy an eyebrow Ooh. pencil. Yeah. I, d I don't pluck my eyebrows. I just... Do you not? ...live with the hair. <laughs> This is lovely. Isn't this a Just lovely show? <laughs> Oversharing. Oversharing. Lovely. Right, let's crack on then, away from the hair monster that is yeah. dead. <laughs> okay, another one coming in. Uh, Liz, when he was four and a half, my brother snuck a traffic light lolly oh. into the bed. No. He welded itself into his hair. Mum got a four-inch hole in his hair to get it. Out. Oh, a traffic light lolly. <laughs> I thought, well, traffic light lolly's ice, though. Like, a different traffic light lolly. No, they change colour, don't they? The, like, as you suck them, they go, like, from red, orange, green. Or like green. a push-pop type thing. No. I think that's different. OK. Don't push me, push push-pop. Do you remember those? Yeah. Okay, which one's very lovely? Oh, are we doing this under £10? Huh, Ooh. do you know what I put it with? These. Yeah, nice. Gorgeous. <sighs> okay, massive, massive, massive price reduction on this. This is Sky Blue Appetite, the most extraordinary gemstone. We're talking about a gemstone that's prehistoric from around the time of the reign of the dinosaurs. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. L I Y Y one four thirty carats is four ninety-five. It's natural sky blue appetite. Every single one sourced in Africa, and then beautifully cut, polished, drilled, put onto the strand. You get those incredible, gorgeous tassels as well. Love those. Oh, they they'd really match the sofa. I saw in Laura Ashley today with fifty percent off. What that colour? No, it was a dove grey. Oh, <gasps> love oh, that colour nice. grey. I'm obsessed with grey. Very stylish. Mm. Right, did you just call Phil a dove? That's a little bit odd, actually. Yes. <laughs> he just went, Phil, you're a dove. Hmm. Phil oh, just went, oh. yeah, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Bit of bromance <laughs> going on in the gallery. Cool, cool. <laughs> the top of the cool, cool. Yeah. Um, would you like to see Phil's shirt tonight? Mm. Come on, our evening views haven't seen it. After the break, Phil will be coming in to reveal his flamingo. <laughs> right, one more item before we go to a quick break. Yes. Oh, Deb, this is the gemstone of friendship. Oh, if we liked each other, we could get each other. We yeah. could yeah. make little stretches. Could, couldn't we? Never mind, eh? No, we won't do that. <laughs> no. 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 We might. Um, it is yeah. the gemstone of um, friendship, and it's also the gemstone to promote fertility. Oh, I don't want any. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. No. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 250 carats. J A K Y 64. It's completely natural. Brazilian rose quartz. We don't have enough of this within the show, within the business, in fact. And just putting that, just with some elastic going through, lovely stretchy bracelet, stack it alongside jadeite. It looks incredible alongside yeah. your amethyst. 
You can wear this against anything and it is just fabulous. At £4.95, pence, J-A-K-Y-6-4, 250 carats, an absolute bargain at 4 95 Genuine natural gemstone. When you think how much you can pay for rose quartz elsewhere, you'd pay way more than that for a bag of um, eight of these in a shop I went to in Cornwall not so long ago. Yeah, I can believe that. Yeah. 10 millimetres is a good size. So. Really, really good size. Yeah. Absolutely. Can I see who's grabbing these ones, please, Phil? Who's decided to stay with us? Who's not got absolutely sick to the back teeth of our text topic or indeed us on screen? Hello, Sue and Isabel. Oh, loads of you still there. Thanks for joining us. Um, here we go. Like a chubby chub, Lucy. Oh, OK. One of the round lollies on a stick. He looked like a Dalek until he was cut out. <laughs> oh, Liz. You speak fondly funny. of your brother, <laughs> don't you? Uh, and then jelly. Oh, uh, uh, oh. I had a spray tan done. Came out like a tango man. Never again. Will always be a naked watsit now. <laughs> Naturally pale. A naked watsit. Well, you are a watsit, aren't you, Julie? Julie Susie watsit. Um, yeah, I, I hadn't exp I hadn't realised how orange I was until we saw the wedding photos. And the thing is, I was wearing a brown dress. <laughs> so the contrast was even more severe. It's hideous. Drew does not let me live it down. Occasionally, if I've done a little fake tan on myself, you're like, oh, careful what happens the next day. And the worst thing was, we'd stayed in a hotel as well and then uh, uh, the bed sheets. Orange. Don't go anywhere. We've got a crappy <laughs> show ahead with Deb's kit and loads more bargains coming up on the other side of this cinema. Mm. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend £4.95 with us, you'll get a free welcome pack which contains everything you need to get started, including step-by-step -step project cards and a DVD which will give you the chance to be able to create an arrangement of different items of jewellery. You'll also get a manual which will help to familiarise you with all the items you're going to be creating and all the tools you're going to need to do so. Plus you'll also get a free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier, so why not give it a go today? Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre.
really disappointing snack experience. Oh. I must say... They're quite smelly. Mm, very smelly. Mm. It tasted like the sausages mm. that you get. So I've just got some little mini cocktail sausages. And they were supposed to be incredibly, you know, posh ones. Wah, wah, wah. I thought, oh, maybe higher content and, you know, less salt or that. Well, it just tastes like the ones that you get that are a bit <laughs> wibbly. In the Frankfurter sausages. Yeah, like the ones that you get a proper hot dog type thing, but I don't like them. They do smell like hot doggy sort of the sausages. The texture wasn't right. No. Just all a bit disappointing. They're a disappointment. Right. We have got a kit for you, and it contains the most amazing piece of 925 sterling silver sheet, which I can honestly say I have never presented 925 sterling silver sheet before. Have you? No, no, I've done copper, bronze, oh. lots of, no, never, ever, ever 925 sterling silver. This is the first for me. Now, I have to tell you that the sheet, as it is, it just looks really exciting. I was so happy when I saw it. I think it looks awful. I'm the only person who's who's like... I think it looks awful as a piece of... I'm like, why would you buy that? Mm. Ah, because I didn't know what to do with it. So you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show you the weird looking piece of sheet that you're about to buy. That is really heavy. There's a, there's a lot there. Oh, 95 <laughs> stone in silver. Mm. That would be easy to steal. This is just weird, right? I was like, well, that's wrong. I thought, when Phil showed me the back of that, I thought it looked like the back of an old passport photo you kept in your wallet, got a bit of makeup and fingerprints <laughs> and stuff on it. That's so funny. No, this is 95 cents silver, and when you know what to do with it, which is what Deb's going to teach us now, look what you create. Now, this dinky piece of 95 cents silver, I was like, well, that's not going to go very far, is it? Well, how wrong was I? Yeah, It's five it by does. five centimetres. And you've made all of the silver that you see there, and then there's more pieces on the back as well to secure it, and we'll show you that in just a moment. It's made all of the encasing of the lipidolite. Look at that! And it's made the other piece that's gone on the pendant as well. What you've done with this is beautiful, Deb. I've got a few little bits left as well. Just, like, off-cuts somewhere. Where are they? There. Um in my bag here so I could make like little sections if I yeah could. so I've got bits there so I could make charms I could make additional bales so just been a bit um, lazy yeah I could have done more <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing you've got all of that left I've got that loads left it's yeah. beautiful so you get this random piece of metal and you would be like well that doesn't look very good it's because it's then what you do with it but this is solid 925 sterling silver. Now, you're also going to get lipidolite ovals. Lipidolite is the most amazing gemstone. In the world of spiritual healing um, and crystal healing, again, it's a belief system. This is a gemstone which is very much soothing. It's supposed to be very soothing for the soul. If you know anyone who's experienced grief recently or is about to experience grief, just horrendous experience, then this is supposed to be a fantastic gemstone for its energies, a very soothing, calming to the soul. And it's it's a beautiful, it is a beautiful stone. Yeah, it is. It's almost got like this internal, it's like Mother Nature has gone in to Spurs glitter inside. It's like a coloured lava kite. You know when you see lava kite and it has those silver flex inside yeah, yeah it's like this is a lava kite but has color with it as well it is extraordinary it's, beautiful. it's so extraordinary this is the third here and they you are going to get guaranteed three and guaranteed 29 by 20. okay so it's not like you're getting a collection of cabochons we're guaranteeing the exact shape and size and then you also get the backing foundation as well oh what sorry Oh, no, sorry, that's coming up a bit later. Apologies. Ah, and you've just taken another five pounds off. Okay, well, thank you. Um, this is the Australian Lipidolite. Amazing colour. I'm so excited to see, with 12 and a half grams of sterling that's silver, £42.95, including the Lipidolite. Mm. Including the Lipidolite. Right, Deb, we've seen everything that you've made with it. It's time now to show us how on earth you turn this random 
Hãy ấn đăng ký That's not a price. Ooh. I'm always up for a bargain. Apparently we won't get in trouble for this. Who cares? No way! <laughs> $29.95! <laughs> wow. Uh, can I see the call screens, please? That is extraordinary good. Do you know what? We did a little uh, bit of price comparisons before we came on air. You can pay more than that just for the cabochons elsewhere. There's only 12 grams of 925, so there's nothing in this random little piece of material. And it goes such a long way. That is the most incredible saving. Hugest congratulations, wow. folks. Can we just see what Deb has done with this uh, again, please? Because it's so inspiring. So, so, so inspiring. So you've made the droplet pendant on that. You've made the bail on the back as well. And we're going to learn how to make the bail. We've got people multi-buying on this kit now, folks. So best of luck for you. $29.95, that is... Yeah, $42.95, that is... That is amazing. It's amazing. Mm. And then you can see that gorgeous. That is just so beautiful. And then the final piece as well. If you've got any questions, if you've got any questions for Deb as you're seeing this, we're currently live if you're watching us at five past seven in the evening uh, on this Monday evening. So get texting in your questions and uh, Deb will be happy to respond to you. Yeah. So $29.95 for the whole complete kit. Right. So this is the main hoo-ha of the kit. How do we get this to look like that? Because I don't believe you. <laughs> well, the, uh, I do. The, um, the good thing about this sheet is that it comes unpolished. So, which is why it looks the way it does. It's been annealed, so it's been softened. Okay, so it's been... It, annealing is, is where you heat treat it and it softens the metal. So it's... Uh, this sort of stage when you get it it's really easy to to bend um, it's it's soft and workable the actual process of polishing the metal will work harder than the metal as well so the fact the fact that this hasn't been polished means that it is softer so it's easier to work with. Okay. So actually, if you want to hammer it and form it, it's easier to work with when it's been unpolished than after. Ah. So that's, that is what is, I, I found really exciting when I actually got okay. this. Okay, well, no, that makes absolute sense. And you are the pro. So, um, so cool, okay. Yeah, it's fab. <laughs> yes, I yep. am. Yep. yep. I spent three years learning about I know. working with silver and stuff. So it's She's the most I, perfect. I, so I seriously, though, if you do silver. have questions for Deb tonight she's the expert for you to be asking these questions particularly with how to work with silver I mean you can tell just look at the, the caliber of her work it's beautiful right so just take in your silver yeah and what we're going to do is just draw on it with a pencil okay so to make the bail can your pencil marks come off again yep they can ah, um, okay. use a softer pencil so that you're not because if you use a hard pencil it might, it, you mm. could score it okay um, so you use a softer one. So all, for the, the bail, for the lipidolite or, we, or any cabochon, all we need to do is take a section of your, um, your silver and decide how wide you want your bail section to be. So that's about a centimetre. So what we're going to do then is find the halfway point, so there. Now, if you want to, you can draw this out on um, onto a, a piece of paper so that you get the shape exactly how you want it. But what we're going to do is just sketch really lightly on your silver sheet and put a heart shape on the top. So then... What we're going to do is then bring our line across to the edge. So there. just a bit above the base of the heart. Just above, yeah. So you want a little bit of um, Depth sort of overlap, there, so, it doesn't so snap. it's not going to just fold yeah. off. So what we're going to do now is cut around this heart, and then you you don't need. A huge amount to to wrap 
up. So it's probably, let me look, that's going to be about a centimetre and a half mm -hmm. in terms of the, the length that we want. Okay, so what we're going to do is use the finest saw blade that we can because that will cut down. Firstly, it's 0.5 gauge um, in terms of the thickness of the sheet. So that's quite a, a fine gauge. So what we need is a finer saw blade because that Gosh, makes that it... that is fine. Yeah, it's... That's floss. It's a six. Okay. So if you... I don't know if you can see the... Yeah, please don't have sausage. No. Oh. That would not be good. Oh. No. Oh. That, would, that would be really painful, actually. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> yeah. So if you... If we look at... This. So this is a, a one. I don't know if we... If oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. So I'm going to use a really, really fine blade because that will cut a finer gauge um, sheet more easily than a, a blade with lots of... Um, with fewer teeth. Okay. So what we want is more teeth per inch yeah. for the finer gauge okay. of metal sheet and more teeth for a thicker gauge sheet. And also, the finer saw blade will actually polish the edge as we go. More teeth um, for a finer... Sorry. Yeah. yeah. More, more teeth will give a finer... Um, finish. Cut. Uh, yeah. yeah, finer finish. So we're just going to put this into the... Saw. Um, $29.95, $42.95 it should have been at. Phil, have we got any of these saws and blades on the um, on our website at the moment? Love a little gander for you. Can you solder the silver sheet to make a ring shank, asked Leanne. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, you can. I think it's now publicly known that we are going to be doing soldering within the business imminently. Oh, that sounded quite musical. I know. So that means that the saw blade is nice and tight okay. in the saw. Is there not a safer way of checking that? That is safe. Because um, the, um, the actual teeth are on the top. Okay. And you're not going to cut your finger unless you do <laughs> that. <laughs> and we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. It's okay. fine. So, yeah. To My check dad the, just the... recently did that. Oh. But there. With a saw. Ouch. No. Mm. The, the only thing I would say in terms of, like, safety is that if you've got lots going on in the room and you're getting distracted, mm. you're more likely to, um, to end up cutting yourself. If you concentrate on what you're doing and you're focused okay, on what right, you're doing, then, yeah, <laughs> don't mess about. Right. Then, then it's fine. You're not going to cut yourself. We've put the saw blades on screen. You're going to get 144 of them, and they're 3.95. Have we got the actual saw as well, Phil? We will source mm. a saw ASAP for you um, to, to be coming in, but it's not going to be available tonight. So, at 3.95, the blades 144. And you will break blades mm -hmm. so I mean that's like that's always you useful floss. yeah you do right so I've got the the bench peg I don't, can you see that um, and what what we're um, gonna do is then cut around the heart shape okay so we're just trying to adjust the overhead camera it's cute it's like a little robot. it is a cute it's like oh Oh, Yay. oh there's my leg, look. purple trousers. Jeez. I'm glad to put these on now. That's good. That's good. Right, so we're just going to lightly start to saw along that line. So you need to keep your saw upright. So we, we're going to come into that point and then wow, take the saw. Wow, that is precise. Okay, so... Sorry, Deb. Phil, no, did you just say right. that we've got the saw? We've got the saw! We've got the Have saw! We? We've got the awesome. saw! Awesome! We've got the secret! 
144 blades for uh, £3.95 pence. and the saw itself £7.95 so is yours a German style saw frame 3 inch? Um, this one isn't this is the one I actually had at um, uni when I did my degree ah, it is about antique. <laughs> yeah it's about 30 years old is it and and my others are the um, the others the ones we do are actually better than this because if How I would break it differ then if I break a, um, a blade I can't shrink the size of my saw okay. but the ones that we do you can shrink them up so you can even use like shorter saw blades so if you break it and you've ah, still got a bit cool grab then it you can so still, 795 still use saw it. frame 395 for 144 blades go in right so when you're sawing what you need to do is actually move the piece that you're sawing and not the blade or not the saw so keep the, the saw um, upright and just come in up and down like um, pretend you're like um, a bandsaw, pretend you're a machine. Oh, so if we, okay. If we're going round. Pretend you're a machine, yeah, I like that. Pretend you're a machine. Come out to the edge. And then if you turn in a corner, if you saw up and down in the same spot, that creates a little bit of um, space for your saw oh, we've had a question to turn there. round. Yep. Sorry, you were still talking then, I do apologise. Um, Charlie's message, out of the blade size, one to six, which is the finest, please? On the ones that we do here, six is the finest. So one was the thicker one that we looked at. Okay. Six is the finest. So, this is really exciting, I'm loving it. <laughs> I actually love the noise that it makes. Some people don't like it. So. So. Pretend you're Gonna a machine, pretend you're a machine, pretend you're a machine. <laughs> <laughs> they just sort of go, ah, oh, you're a machine. Machine, yes. Right, over to the edge. And then, come off there. And then all we need to do is come round this side and into the point of the heart. Yeah, okay. So, if I come round this way, and I've completely obliterated the uh, the heart shape so put that back in so if you've got pencil marks that you don't want on there when you polish it they'll just polish out will they yeah you can just take it off with your finger oh, okay so oh, okay. Um, that's that's why they disappeared what you can do if you if you have a um, a point like an awl or something you can draw it um, on there so I'm not going to worry too much about the fact that I've got a slight front a, um, straight line there. Um, I'll sort that out with a file later. So just come back in. It's so difficult to see where my line is without putting my head in the way. You're doing right. very well. <laughs> This is going to be a strange shape heart, I'm sure. So, just going to come back the other way. <laughs> I've got it stuck there now. Right, undo that. So, if I take that out, then what I can do is come back in in the other direction. So. Undo the blade, just make sure it's, that's so nice it's and tight. It's a different key than it was earlier. It is, it's tighter this time, but also um, the fact that I've been sawing with it cha will change yeah. the metal, won't it? So. Have you ever thought about playing the harp? 
I haven't, but maybe I should. I you should. You look like you had natural technique. Ooh, that'd be quite cool, actually. I think you'd look really cool playing a harp. OK, I'll get one. OK. I don't That's know where hard. I'm going to put it. <laughs> Just stick it in the back of Just your car. Like, yeah. yeah, I could do that. Play the harp in the car. Not while you're driving. No. She's getting way on, on, hang on, on, hang on. That's that little ah, bit. Ah, yeah. Don't lose any piece of silver because, of course, they can all add up and you can always take it to a local jewelry and they'll uh, yep. melt it down for you and give you money. Mike! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely close up detail, says Pat. Thank you. Mike's doing a good job, actually. Yeah, that's Mike, uh, director Mike. Strange things in my ear. So, just come round the edge. It is quicker and easier to cut through an annealed sheet. Yes. Yeah, it is because the metal's not as hard. It's so nothing. it's not been polished, it's not been worked, so it's soft, so everything is much easier, yeah. So if you're, f like the, the disc at the bottom of the, um, this, this pork yeah. necklace, um, that is much easier to form because it's, because it's a softer sheet. I see, so you can get the dome effect. Yeah. So... Um, just come into the point and meet at that point. Oh, caught that with my leg. <laughs> right, so now what we're going to do, all you need to do then is come in. I did have, yes. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> oh, the sandbag. Sandbag. I love my sandbag. <laughs> You're caressing um, the sandbag. It's it's just such a nice thing. I wanted one for years and years and years, and the price of them everywhere else is it's bonkers. Price, yeah. yeah, it's unbelievable. Have we got any in stock at the moment, please, Phil? No, they're due in imminently. So if I if I show you the edge, actually that I've cut, can you see, it's, yeah. it's not, I don't know what, what makes, it's not perfect, but it's smoother than it would be if it was um, a, a sort of chunkier blade. So all you need to do is come across with your file and just, you can see it starts to polish yeah. the edge. So that will smooth it out really nicely. So just file in, in one direction. Don't, don't sort of saw backwards and forwards because that's not how a file's created to function. So you can see if I, if I turn it the right way, you can see how that's now got a shine on it, on that edge. And that's been polished by that file. So just work your way round using whatever file fits nicely to, um, to file around and get that perfect shape. So then once you've got that, the, um, the next thing I did was to actually create um, a almost like a brushed surface mm. on, the, on the silver. So if you take the silver, you can either use a Dremel or you can use a file and just... Can you use the file that you get in the beginner's jewel making, your starter kit of tools? Has that got a file in? Has it got, um, um, it oh got it, a file? No, it's got, um, it's got a reamer. That's oh, round. you're right. Sorry. Yeah. 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 So many, gosh, it's about three years so since I saw it. You, that... I mean, you can use that. It is, a, it is basically a file, so you can, you can use that. So all I'm doing is filing in one direction and 
just creating a texture on there. So there we've got the polish coming up on that metal. And then that's that's just put in a nice texture on that as well. So if I lift that up. That is ridiculously cool, isn't it? So you can see all that texture and you can see how shiny that is. Amazing. <laughs> Mike's conf um, comparing it to the Ugly Duckling. It is, I mean, at the end of the day, you've got a really workable piece of yeah. silver. Yeah, I totally get it. And seeing you working with it like this. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I, I was so happy to get this kit. And then all I did was, if I just grab the necklace. Um, so we've got, mine's actually a bit bigger, but it's easier to demo when it's bigger there. So all we're going to do is now curl the bottom section of this up so if I pop that down for a second and then you, if you've got bail making pliers you can use those um, if you've got round nose pliers they'll work as well so just take the silver at the bottom in your pliers and start to roll it up into a tube Now what I'm doing is I'm coming in from this side and then turning it and coming in from this side. So that is then rolling it up nice and even because I've got a taper on my pliers, obviously. So roll that down. And that's now closed that tube up on that side. And now I just need to roll that on that side. And that's now created the tube there so that you can... Um, thread a talk through yeah or if you wanted to you could um do beading and then just pop this on as a little spacer nice decorative yeah feature. It, it is a gorgeous gorgeous piece and you can see how that technique could be applied to so many different shapes and sizes yeah, just sorry did you say so i was just listening to mike could you just glue that yeah so Make now sure, yeah. all i did was glue that onto the back so i used um the hypo cement and just glued onto the back of my cabochon. And when it was drying, did you hold it? Or no, did you? No. So all I did was I took it, I glue, glued it on. So the flat section glues on. Yeah. And because if I'll do it and then you can. You did can you just see. rest it on something? Um, no, because the, the glue, all I did was put my glue on the back of the cabochon yeah and then leave it to go tacky so just leave it for like a minute mm. um, and then what I did do that I've forgotten is I actually took the the silver and just put some texture on the back of the oh, silver so it just grip a bit more. yeah just gives it a little bit more of um, a purchase and then that will just sit mm -hmm. at that point on there hold it for a second and then oh, wow. leave it i know it's not quite flat but that's basically because you've left your hypo cement glue to actually um go a little bit tacky mm. when you put your bail on it sits it grabs it so it's, it doesn't slip off. Amazing. So I can obviously and how leave, long would you leave that overnight? I'd leave it 24 hours. Right, okay. Yeah, just to Brilliant. To well, if you've got mm. any more questions, remember Deb is the pro when it comes to working with sterling silver, when it comes to techniques such as this. So if there's any techniques that you've seen and got questions of, uh, questions for um, regarding mm. the kit there, text in alongside your personal grooming disasters. We're having a bit of a giggle tonight. Bear in mind that we're pre-watershed and when the repeat comes out, some people would just be having their breakfast when they're watching the repeat. Oh, so, you that's know. true. Uh, yeah. Mm.
Yeah, it's amazing what you realise it's come out of your mouth because it's gone watershed and then, oh, yeah, next morning. Oops. Just check that. Oh, now I'm having my wheat a bit. Right. What should we do now? Let's do another star by. Fantastic offer here, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. They're 925 still in silver shepherd hooks, but these are a little bit different. These are my absolute favourite ones. I think they've got a real grace and elegance to them because you can see mm. there, you see how it just goes to a really slim, you get an air of grace and finesse and there's just a slightly different shape. Now, there's two pairs in 925 sterling silver and there's a pair in nine carat Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. All for 395. All for 395. These are the slightly more yeah, elegant. I should say I haven't mm. got the other ones to do a comparison with the Yeah, the, the wire is um looks heavier mm -hmm. and there's a lot more the actual ball detail and the coil looks heavier as well, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's more substantial. Of, yeah. These are probably the top but end nice. of the 925 selling yeah. silver shepherd hooks. You get a pair in the rose gold plated and two pairs in the plain 925 selling silver. Could I see the call screens, please, Philippe? Thank you kindly. Lisa and Jennifer and Teresa, QAXC29, 0800 the warmest of welcome to all of you this evening. Um, we have got another demo and another kit coming up with Deb around 9 o'clock. She's not going anywhere, though. She's staying right there. Don't move. Do not move. Key text messages coming in, folks. We're loving hearing from you this evening on 0800 644 is your phone number. And if you want to text, 60777 is the number to text. Loads of you there. Hello, Veronica. How's Cornwall this evening? Hi, Shelley, darling. I've always wondered what a sandbag was for. <laughs> always miss the presentation piece on them. Well, there you go, my darling. So you can use it for a variety of things. Yeah, supports your work when um, you, you're polishing it. When, or, actually, if you wanted to, you could make a little dish out of this square. Because <gasps> so you can you get that can start hollow. forming yeah. into your sandbag. Yeah. So... And the other thing as well is when you're hammering with a block, a metal block mm. and hammer, put this underneath so it protects the surface that you're hammering and also stops you annoying the neighbours as much. It just deadens that <laughs> sound a little bit. Yeah. OK, we're going to move on. Oh, where's that one? Oh, yeah. Oh. Necklace. No. Yeah, yeah. I have to say... That recently I've been wearing, I've got um, a 30 inch one of these and I have, I don't know if any of you remember, the rose gold plated necklaces that we had with the little uh, silver, they almost look like little silver crimp beads over it. And I've been wearing oh, the two together. Yes. Yeah. I have had so many compliments, even from strangers and from like people working in shops and things going, oh, I love your necklaces, where did you get those? And I think, well, mm. jewellery makers wear us at. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I've got 30-inch one of these. Um, I think I might have walked out of the studio by mistake with it on. Oops. Uh -huh. Now this is an 18-inch 925 sterling silver twisted link chain. And it's £4.95. It's 925 sterling silver. And look at each individual link. There is. It is absolutely this beautiful. I've not seen this one before. Oh, I've got a couple of these. I absolutely love it. Hmm. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. Just if you, you know, if you don't want to wear a pendant. Yeah. But if you do want to wear a pendant, so um, I wore it the other day, and I popped a big cabochon pendant in my bag. Yeah. And I had this on during the daytime, and when we went out on the air, I just popped the pendant oh. on. Nice idea. That's what I'm wearing it. It's like more diaphragm. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. I'm going to put that on. I might have to walk home with it on. Walk home? I'm not walking. <laughs> that may take a while. I'm not walking. I wonder <laughs> how that man is. Oh, I hope he's all right. Shall I tell you what happened? Yeah. I was, I was driving into... I was walking. No, I was I was driving into work and I saw a hitchhiker 
and he looked really unwell. So I called the local police to see if they wanted to know, you know, send... Because I just thought if he falls into the road, I was really concerned about him. Mm. Um, so I called the local police, but they told me because it was a health thing, I had to call an ambulance, 999. Well, I hope that I haven't wasted any time, because then they phoned me back at work and said, we can't find him, where's your friend? Oh, well, he's not my friend. I'm sure he's very nice. So now I'm a bit concerned I've got my personal <gasps> details. If they find him, I might bring him to my house. <laughs> yeah, we found your mate. Turn up at, like, midnight. Yeah. How pretty is that? That is really nice. The way it catches the light. Yeah. Yeah. Very and then nice. can you imagine maybe little clusters of black faceted spinels? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Julian, your dad David is constantly missing areas on his head while shaving. Hmm. Oh, he looked like he had a wonky Mohican last week. Ooh. Oh, Julian, my dad tries to do his sometimes as well, but he's got he's got quite fluffy white hair, bless him, and he looks a little bit like a newborn chick. Oh, cute. I call him little chiclet at times, <laughs> yeah, because sometimes he's just got little tufty bits. Hiya, Dad. Oh. You are right, Daddy? How was your monkey hand? <laughs> yeah, in his workshop, because, yeah, a lot of you know, I talk about my dad a lot. Um, and he's, um, oh, I've dropped it again. Oh. I've dropped it, I know. Dreadful. Yeah, and he was um, making his model aircraft and sliced right through that bit. Was he not concentrating? No, oh, he faffs around. No, he my mother despairs. Oh, James! <laughs> not again! <sighs> Should we do the lobster claw class? OK, that's my cue to move on. Thank you. Uh, OK, these are gorgeous because they're quite substantial. Oh, they and are. And even though they're substantial, they're still elegant, aren't they? They've got yeah. a really lovely line to them. Yeah. Let me get my tweezers. Oh! Got a cracking price on these. Cracking! I've got some great prices on tonight's show, Phil. Cracking price. You can see 925 marking just inside there. £4.95 wow. for three of these. Now you've got your 925 cylinder silver jump ring as well as the actual clasp itself. HTGP191 millimetres in size. So good size, but still very elegant. Yeah, they're really nice. I do like that actually. Are you making a Is bit that of the purchase? Same? Yeah, I think I might. Is that the same size as that one? Excuse me, while we just compare hmm. lobsters. We just need to check. Yeah. 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 I've not got any in rose gold. Hmm. Do you want that code taken down for you? Yeah, I'm going to need those. Can we take down the code for, uh, for Debs, please? Hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Well, on it. Yeah, really lovely size. I think if you just struggle doing clasps up yourself as well, the larger you go, yeah. but sometimes larger clasps can look a bit key ringy. Yeah. So they these can. are really nice. They're still elegant. They are. Hello, nice. Suzette, darling. How are you? Richard decided to have a cost saving drive and bought some hair clippers. After their first use, I was told never to go into hairdressing. Oh, oh. Suzette. So it was your fault. Oh, dear. Julian, oh, that's weird. My dad took the top of his fingers off, making all his wood art. Oh, you see. Father's Day coming up. Don't you just despair? Yep. Yeah. Four ninety-five. Father's Day this Friday, uh, this Sunday. Don't forget. Seventeenth, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Seventeenth. Seventeenth, Mike. Mm. You're right. Yeah, Sunday, darling. Yeah. This Sunday. What do you mean? What you're supposed to do? make a card? Hmm. Why don't Mike's just gone? I know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll go in the morning and see him. Well Problem done, darling. Solved. Well done. You came to that clue conclusion all by yourself. Good work. Yep. He's obviously very proud of himself for coming to that conclusion as well. Okay. Which one? Say again, sorry. I love this. Now, when I first saw Ooh. the picture of it, the, wow. the picture does not do it just at all. Can you imagine Art Deco style earrings? Yeah. And totally. to be honest, when I saw it and the picture, I was like, oh, I'm not quite sure, Phil. I love it. I love it. When I saw it, it reminded me of the Chrysler building. I thought that. Did you? Yeah. I, I do. I genuinely love this. Yeah, I thought that. Earrings. I want them as earrings. Yeah. I've got a jump me ring too. handy. Uh, no. Got a shepherd's hook, though, somewhere. Didn't we? 
Nice. I was going to get you to make me a pair of earrings, but I've only got one. Only got one, yeah. That is absolutely fab. And then you could just pop a jump ring on it and it's set perfectly on the neckline. That could also be the most extraordinary centrepiece for a headdress. Yes, up the other way. Very Kim oh, Kardashian second down. Oh, I was thinking turn it up the other way. Oh, yeah. Let it go. Yeah. It's going to sparkle, that isn't it? Mm. Kim Kardashian, <laughs> second wedding. She had a whole dress. I think they were diamonds, though, weren't they? Mm, probably. Mm. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, my goodness. Right, I'll tell you what. Can people see the price on the website, Phil? Oh, we've really surprised. Okay. <laughs> can I see the call screens, please? Pardon? You can go lower than that. Oh, 10.95. It is such a showstopper. Go on, what are you thinking? Well, there's no way you would look at that on a necklace and think, oh, that was under 20. No. <laughs> that was Not under 50. Not a chance. No. Solid 925 stunning silver, and then you've got a gorgeous hand cut uh, cubic zirconia in there. That is fab, isn't it? It's nice to have mm. the, um, the baguette shape as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. In there. That's what gives it that real art deco yeah. feel, I think. I think if you're going to a Gatsby evening. Yeah. Yeah, really, really love that. 1095, congratulations, those of you who grabbed that one well done. Okay, we're going to move on. Yes. Okay, I can do that. If resident designer Linda's watching. She watches all the time when she's doing her ironing. Linda <laughs> loves ironing. Well, she does it. I don't know if she loves it. No, she's always doing that. Whenever I talk to her, you all right? No, just give me <laughs> ironing. <laughs> Mike, Mike, darling, are you tired? You're coming out with some really random things. He's just gone, ironing even, in even 2018. Lol. You don't know anyone who irons anymore? Do you know, like, a lot of creased people? I don't like ironing. I quite like it. No. I quite, I like it. My mum does a lot of mine because she loves ironing. She comes round, she'll say, have you got some ironing? I'll stick Radio 2 on. Go on, give me a basket of ironing. Okay, but I do quite enjoy do it. Mine. It's a sense of satisfaction. I like ironing. I like hoovering. Yeah, because both of those give you an immediate change. I suppose change yeah, you can of, see the result. Yeah. yeah, you can see the result. Whereas cleaning your bathroom. See, I I quite like that. I do it very frequently that I can't see such a dramatic change, which is a good thing. But I like, yeah, I like the, um, yeah. I like ironing and I like hoovering. The finished thing, changes the room. Right, I'll see this. I need to have my carpets cleaned as well. <laughs> um, Charlie got chocolate all over the cream carpet. Oh! <gasps> yeah. 12 carrots. Oh, nice. Really stunning. Sorry, folks, we just had a technical moment with the microphones. Gorgeous tonal quality. Look at the clarity of those. You're going to get the biggest saving there's ever been on this strand tonight. Colombian emerald is the most sought-after emerald end-off. Yep. My, my ring is Colombian emerald, and I need this ring, uh, this strand, to go with my ring. That's oh, almost half that's price. Amazing. It's supposed to be sixty pounds. That's, that's almost half price. Thirty-one ninety-five. You've got a beautiful, beautiful variety of tonal qualities there. Wow! It's the clarity. You don't associate emeralds with clarity. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay.
okay a question in from donna hi donna darling i have a polished square bought from jm some time ago is it possible to hammer a dome shape on it thanks donna i yes it is um i use my hammers to actually hammer <laughs> onto um you use let me a show hammer you. yeah a hammer no so this is my favorite hammer and what i do is i'll put this section here into a vice ah i was being facetious yeah. sorry and then i yeah, use another time. hammer to hammer onto this and create a dome ah. that's how i that's how i did this one because so even though it's highly polished you can actually do that still yeah so you hammer onto your hammer that's and great. if you've got if i pop that down you can see how that hugs the top yeah or that hammer shape and just like a little smash man from yeah you can use different size hammers to make different domes so ah. got that one so i could make like a smaller um section on that or we've got the other planishing hammer as well that's got um, a different it's got a more pointed end so you can hammer onto that as well and create like um, a shape between these two so yeah i use my hammers because basically they're um steel mandrels yeah and if you buy a mandrel to actually hammer onto it will cost you a fortune yeah whereas the hammers that we have at JM are brilliant, absolutely brilliant quality. How are we doing for hammers on the website at the moment? So, Bill? I'd hammer it onto a hammer that you've got secured I'd in the vice. Hammer in the morning. Yeah. I'd hammer in the evening. Yeah. Phil's just having a look on the website for you, producer that's, Phil. That's what about I do. If we have any, we've got a texturing hammer at the moment, and more are due in soon. Is is have the texturing hammer the one with multi heads? So has that got a smooth it is if it's got a smooth if you've just head. tuned in this is cracking tv this is my profile and there's deb's yeah. profile <laughs> okay evening ladies and gentlemen the jm crew do i spy seed beads what time <laughs> are they on please hello melanie please they're difficult yes, yes. Seed bead bundle, you beady eyed, beady eyed. Mm. Oh. Thanks, Mike. Slight delay on it, but intention was there. Are we doing all of those in one bundle? When? In yes! one bundle? In a bundle. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't that know was why. Like I just don't... I have no idea what that was Strudel. supposed to be. I'm clearly very tired. I've been up since three this oh, morning. Loose. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't Freddy. Do you know what that was at three o'clock? A bird. A singular bird. Was it? Going for it. And pardon? What sound was it? Oh, you were one of these bird identifying people. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. It was just irritating at that time in the morning. And the thing is, I was like, well that's weird because it's not even light. And then I looked out and actually. It wasn't quite dark. Uh, street lights send them all a no, bit. Yeah, it wasn't street lights. No. We've got no street lights on at that time. But it just wasn't quite properly dark, dark. And then by 4.39 this morning, mm. oh my word, every bird in the world was outside our windows, I swear. Yeah. Because that's what, I know that's when they wake up. <laughs> Leah, it doesn't mean that that is appropriate, you know? So mm. we live near fields. Go to the fields. Go and have a lovely time. Get away from my bedroom window. This is supposed to be fifty-two ninety-five, and it's a super seed bead. We have one, two. We're going to do the most extraordinary deal on this. I mean, literally, loot. Oh my! They just keep on coming, and coming, and coming, and coming. Right. Okay. You're going to get all of these. I'm going to read out a list. They're not going to be in the order that you're seeing, but you'll then get all the information you need. You're, they are all Mayuki, which is the most in-demand brand of seed beads. You're going to get the Golden Olive, size 15 O's, 8.2. 
Galvanized berry, size 8, 6.8. Galvanized dark coral, size 10, 0, 7.2 grams. Matte black, size 15, 0, approximately 7 grams. Opaque sky blue, 15 O's, 7 grams. I feel like I'm reading out. The weather, the shipping forecast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah quite like it. I like the shipping forecast. Yeah. yeah. Pewter, galvanised pewter, 15 O's, 7.2 grams. Galvanised yellow gold, size 60, 5 grams. Galvanised silver, <laughs> 15 mm. O's, 5 grams. And then you've got the uh, silver lined olive, size 8. 22 grams and the opaque yellow luster size 11 O's 24 grams 39.95 for the lot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 39.95 for the 10 tubes they're nice. amazing Ooh, they're like amazing these are flying out absolutely fine that's ages since we had a CB bundle on screen it is really really ages ages yeah. ages they're all just completely different. It's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous bundle. I'm actually going to now pair those up differently because I think sometimes with bundles, the way that your eye naturally gravitates to them, I'd probably put mm. the metallics together. I'd put those with those. You'd put these? Just to, yeah. Yeah, and I'd put those with the blue. All right. Yeah. Nice. Is that better now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy now. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> does that does that suit your feng shui? Yes, yeah, that's nice now. Yeah. I've got to say, the yellows, if they use really sparingly, mm. almost act like a really vibrant gold in designs as well, don't they? Yeah. 39 95 for all of those. Amazing. Well done, folks. Okay, well, um, how is it 10 to 8? 5 to 8? I don't know. Time flies. We're having fun. We I'm going it. to Wales tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. And I'm on the late show in the evening. <gasps> That's going to be a long day. Yeah. Needs must. Ooh. I need to go and buy some Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> and some toadstools. <laughs> Pardon? Because a very good supplier is in Wales. I can't tell you because I don't know where to, how to get there. I've just put the I've got the postcode. It's gonna take me an hour and thirty five minutes, that's all I know. Right, we're <laughs> going to do the large white beading found where we are, but it's gone. Oh, it was here. Oh I see it. No, I don't. No. That's a Perspex board. That's a Perspex board, yeah. Ryan! That's not foundation fabric. Ryan! What's What's he he gone? done with it? It's all right. Ah. Lee is here, the saviour of jewellery maker. Right, <laughs> beading foundation, what mm. do we need it for? Um, basically, in your seed bead work, you can stitch onto mm -hmm. beading foundation and make Thank you, patterns. Uh, you can use it with your cabochons, glue them on and then seed bead around it. If you do your soutache or your shibori ribbon, um, you'll use this as a base to stitch onto. So you've, you've got, you've got um, really the support for putting other pieces onto. Mm -hmm. And the brand is Beadsmith. It's brilliant. World, world renowned for, for jewellery making. EJBD74 mm. is your code and it's £2.95. Whack it on the order because you can use it for so many different things. It's fabulous as well. I used it when I was doing fascinators just to give yeah. you a bit of structure to then sew yeah. all of your feathers or um, the cinema onto or mm. again with the shibori silks if you just need some, something. If you ever feel that you need like a starched fabric... Yeah. On a really epic scale. Yeah, this would... Doing um, collars is really mm. good as well, and it's brilliant. Now we have the A4 sort of size, because it means you can do it all in one piece. Yeah. Whereas before, we've had to join Cut out, different you can do, bits up. Because the Peter Pan collar yeah, as yeah. well is lovely, yeah. Mm. £2.95. 
Ooh. We're going to be doing a bit of a treat after the break. Diamonds of another. Which favourite Bond song? Oh. I need to know. So lots of you now have an events company as well. And we're doing lots of Bond themed things at Christmas. And I need to know your favourite Bond song. Text in six zero trouble seven. And um, we're going to be doing. The reason that came into my head is because we're going to be number. doing diamonds. What's it? Six oh, no. zero trouble seven. Six, yeah. No, that's right. Sorry. All right. I had a brain blip there. Okay. <laughs> goodness that's why i was talking about it diamonds wow. are forever we are going to do the biggest price reduction ever known at jewelry maker on diamonds the lowest price ever on our blue diamonds they are going tonight under 150 pounds and then some so don't go anywhere we're going to be doing those straight after the break <coughs> excuse me we'll do those straight after the break so diamonds are forever they are eight o'clock must have straight after the break we've also got coming up as well deb's other kit on its way for you mm. loads more deals get texting in i need to know your interesting personal grooming experience that might have gone a bit away and also your favorite bond song oh eight hundred six trouble uh should be he's a hundred six trouble four six double five is the number to call to place your order you can also shop online on jewelrymaker.com that's a fabulous way to shop if you go across the two one person packaging price all day so don't go anywhere we're going to have some nectarine now we'll see you on this other side of this <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish. Making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We are going to do a PR offer on these blue diamonds. They are the most extraordinary blue diamonds I've ever seen. They are incredible, absolutely incredible. They're dinky, 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 dinky. And they are. Oh my goodness, they're so, so precious. Right, this is what we need to ask of you folks. We categorically, 100%, do not make money off your calls. Could I see the call screens, please? What price is on the website at the moment, Phil? Are you going to bring the price... Okay, straight away, folks, this is a PR offer. I can tell you now, they have never, ever, ever been at 69.95 before. Two and a half carats of incredible blue diamonds. 99.95 they've been previously. 69.95, they are simply heat treated, which for the majority of people is still seen that the diamonds are completely natural. They have not been dyed, they have not been coated. These are not blue, these are not dyed. They are natural blue hue, simply enhanced by heat. They are extraordinary. You can see the clarity there given that. Oh my goodness. How many have we got, sorry? Okay, can I see the call screens, please? Two and a half carrots, go for it. And do you know what? I am genuinely, I bought multi-buy on it, multi-buy on it. Because when you make your jewelry with this, because of the caliber of these blue diamonds and they are not mm. dyed, oh my goodness, valuations. Now, a great place I have decided really recently uh, realized to get jewelry valued like this is actually our local auction house. They give loads of advice on um, if you've got an auction house near you, you can get a really good idea, not an official valuation, but a good idea of value. If you pop along, if you mm. find out when there's jewellery specialist days, that is, it's perfect, it's brilliant. And then yeah, if you quite go, oh, actually, I'd quite like to. Um, Janet, uh, Janet Dwyer has had, or Jan, <laughs> Janet, um, <laughs> has had, uh, Janet has had loads of her jewellery sell at auction for hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So $69.95 for this volume of blue diamonds. If you are tempted with this, I wouldn't stop at one. I genuinely wouldn't because for double that size, you're still under £200. I would just go for it. I'd absolutely go for it. Now, here at Jewelry Maker, we are one of the most established channels. And in fact, the only channel dedicated to jewelry making in the UK. And... The, one of the largest sources of genuine gemstones in, in the world for shopping telly, okay, and in jewellery making, one of the largest sources of genuine gemstones in the world. If anyone's going to get you the deals, we can get you the deals. Because it's not just about the price, it's about the quality. Look at those South African, I mean, everybody wants South African diamonds. Yep. These are a blue South African diamond. They're lovely, aren't they? Oh, seriously gorgeous. If you've got any yeah, questions, do really feel free nice. to text in. What would you do with them, Deb? Um, I'd... I'd probably make myself a bracelet with them, rosary link them, a couple of them as earrings. I don't know why I asked it. A bracelet, really yeah. yeah. They're just too perfect. <laughs> I absolutely love JM Simons now, got a nice stash. Oh, oh Suzette. I think you are my type of viewer who should probably get more than one of these if you can. Is Hubby mm. away on an oil rig at the moment? Yeah, go on. Because this is the type of thing that it's going to go. This could quite, quite possibly sell out tonight. And don't forget, you can get your certificate of authenticity. It's just 25 pence. 69.95. That is bonkers. All right, Leah. You're losing your trousers. Go and eat a pie. <laughs> eat a pie, 
You had a pie over the weekend? Pork cheek, black pudding and apple. Pork, black pudding and apple. Pie. Mashed potato. With mashed potato. The fact that you remember having it over the weekend, I'm like, go and have one now. Did go you have, have some gravy chocolate. as well? Yeah. Yeah. Mashed potato. Oh, I love mashed potato. I'm just jealous. She's like trim and eating pies. Uh, right, anyway, 69.95. The reason I asked that is I turned around and practically, uh, yeah, she was needing to pull up her trousers. Oink. Either eat more or invest in a belt. Uh, <laughs> HWRU90. <laughs> stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've got loads of you. And do you know what? We've got people multi buying. Congratulations, because the deal is only a great deal if you're taking advantage of it. And the deal is double the deal if you're getting more than one, obviously. That's um, true. I, I'm sure, what do you, yeah, I'm sure we'll double the deal. Would you like me to hold these up to my neckline for you? Oh. So, it's beautiful, they're beautiful, they're beautiful, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. And I love the fact that they are unmistakably diamonds. You couldn't... Yeah, they are. Can't compare them that to anything else. Is, yeah. Yeah. Unique. They're beautiful! They are beautiful. Okay, so if you've got these in your baskets and you're umming and ahhing, don't. No. Don't um, That's just like... ah. Oh, nicely done. Yeah. Shocking, wasn't it? A bit cringe, yeah. that. It was, really. A bit cheesy. Yeah. Sorry. A little bit cheesy. But... Um, right. Tons of those gone. Absolutely tons. Which means... I've hardly got any remaining. Tons of those have gone. <laughs> um, it's diamonds. We didn't have tons. Uh, but t loads of you. Loads and loads and loads of you are wanting them. If you've got it in your basket and you're still thinking about it, we've got a few remaining. Well done. Whoa, what a price reduction. That what is really deal. good, isn't it? That was epic. That was seriously, that was the best deal on diamonds ever. Mm. How good was that? Mm. That was an amazing deal. Oh, well done yep. if you got that. Well done. Awesome. Okay. I'm positively exhausted now. Shall we go home? <laughs> Can't go. After That's that it. One. Yeah. Uh, right, go on, Philippe. What are you thinking? Oh, I, do you know what? I've been admiring these. You're going to love these. Oh, oh, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Glasses. Knew it. Put them. I've got a real problem with my glasses. They're absolutely nice. scratched to smithereens because I keep putting them in bag without a case. Oh, I've started mm. doing that because I've left be my bothered. case somewhere. Oh, I've got a few spare cases. Do you want one of my cases? Have you? Have no, case. it's okay. I've got a spare right. case now, thanks. <laughs> because I sat on my other pair and broke them. Yeah. I did ask if yours were new. Are they just the same version of they're yours? They're the same as before. They're just... Oh, they're dirty. Oh, nice. And, and um, I do put them on when I dye my hair because I leave the dye on for like half an hour. Oh, they're not supposed to be purple then? Um, the, I, I have dyed them somewhere. Do you see there? Yeah, They're like yes. extra purple Not like you've here. had a biro leak in your bag. And there, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is a fascinating conversation and this is 65 <laughs> carats of black spinel. Four by three up to a seven by five. Now that's 31 centimetres from gemstone to gemstone. That is excluding the tassels. Rings. I think they'd make really nice little rings. Yeah, they would. What would you put yeah. with them then? I, do you know, what we could do is actually seed bead around the shank and then put one of these at the front. Oh, yeah, nice. That'd work. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Size 15s for the 15 15 oh. Yeah. 24 15 oh. <laughs> Oh. I want to read the shipping forecast. I think I was just going to say, you should read the shipping forecast. I think One of my good. first professional jobs was um, I did the language tapes for schools. Did you? The cat sat on the mat. So, yeah. so I was did it? the English bit. Oh. I just recorded all the English bit. So, yeah. You've been at school since uh, 1998. Chances are you've heard my dulcet voice. <gasps> That'd be Jake. Well, there you go. I might have yeah. taught him a foreign language without even teaching him a foreign language. Mm. There you go. That's a fact for you. Life changing. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What you got? Oh, number seven. Yeah. Oh. Now here at Jewelry Maker, we see a lot of pearls. We do. So it takes quite a lot for me to be really, like. 
Oh, about mm. Shonda Pulse. Mm. These are, amongst the, ah, oh, aren't they a beautiful strand? They are. They are, these are. Wow. Yeah, they're an elite, everything about them, the toe, the surface layer, completely perfect, so there's no little nuts and crummies. Nope. Yeah, these are, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yep, yep, yep. I love these. KZ RF24, nice. 7x8, 38 centimetre strand. How much? Oh my goodness, every day of the week. Yes, yes, yes. Let's pop these up to my neckline. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now those are the pearls touching, so that gives you an idea of size. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. They are. Do you know it was Coco Chanel said every lady should wear Very pearls nice. to hide double chins. Mm. I love so the light two reflection. Strands, please. <laughs> or do a whole choker going down? Yeah, Camilla Parker Bowles is choker. You sealed that picture when we were on air. I'll show it to you. I don't think you could, could you find it? There was one you couldn't find. Oh, it might have been that one I couldn't find, but yeah, three strands of pearls into a choker. It looked like blue zircon surrounding an oval amethyst. Yeah, I, I think that was the one you couldn't find. Oh, aren't I boring? No. Can we have a moment for the <laughs> fact that Meghan Markle re-wore her hat that she'd worn on the first appearance since getting married? And she wore it again for the Queen's birthday this weekend. And I'm all for, absolutely all for recycling outfits. Completely, Kate Middleton's got it down pat, mm -hmm. yes. But your first two appearances, yeah. you'd have a new hat, wouldn't you? Um, it's maybe a little bit lazy, is it? Maybe she's trying to prove a point. Maybe. I just thought, you know... Mm. By all because she's going to go through a lot of hats, isn't she? True. So she knows she's going to wear it. So it's not like a frivolous purchase if she bought another no. one or was provided with another one. I just thought that close together. Mm. I'd have liked to have seen a different hat. Yeah. 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 No, I anyway, agree. I just thought I'd throw that not out. Not that I saw it. Oh, I'll show you later. Yeah. Nude okay. colour. Nude. It's so very beautiful. Mm. I'm still not quite sure though. Because it should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should have been me. Fourteen ninety five on these pearls. Okay, we're going to move on. Go on, Phil. Work your magic. What are you thinking? Oh, really? Should we do the little hummingbird? Oh, he's cute, isn't he? He is cute. My mum and dad had a baby goldfinch. I thought you were going to say baby hummingbird Oh no, a green then. finch rather. Little green finch in their garden the other day. I know this isn't a green finch, it's no. a hummingbird. I'm just saying it because it's... <laughs> Don't confuse I know, us. Mike. Oh, my word. Oh, it is like a kingfisher. I don't think it's like a king... It's like a fat kingfisher then. That was a really thrilling conversation we've just had regarding whether this is indeed a hummingbird or everyone thinks it's more like a kingfisher. Can you text in and let us know what you're thinking on six zero trouble seven? I think hummingbird. I think that would be a really chunky, greedy kingfisher. Some of them are, aren't they? Like good fishermen. Yeah, we have a lot of them where yeah. I live. Do you? Kingfishers, Pretty. yeah. Pretty. Yeah, I live yeah. on the Avon. Well, I don't live on it, but... A stone's throw. This is only six ninety five and it's two and a half grams of ninety five stone silver. I'll show you the inside. Could you maybe do something like Ceruloon on the other oh, side of it? And then it that. could be yeah. double sided. Yeah. Because it is like a little well. 
or resin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's ages since we had resin on the show. It is. I love a bit of resin. Mm, me too. I Y R F one six. Oh wait, hundred six double four, six double five. He looks like he's doing ballet there. Doesn't he? Mm. <laughs> I like him a lot. Yeah. Could I see the call screen, please, dance please? In Kingfisher. Lots of you getting that one. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Two and a half grams. Yeah, I can imagine him now with little buoyant shoes on. Yeah. Could be in the chorus of Sting. It's a bird! Uh, All right, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a bird? It's a plane. 6.95, so there we go. That's come to the conclusion. <laughs> it's a bird. Yes, yeah, that's cleared that up. Brilliant. Thanks, Pat. You've rocked everyone's world with that one. It's a bird. Okay, I love this. And I would you literally just get two pieces of cord and do a knot oh. either side and have that on my wrist. I love yeah. it. Love it. Yeah. I've not seen this one Symbol before. of infinity. I think I need this. Oh, you can make a ring with it. Let me pass this to you and you can tell me how. I wonder if it's big enough. It's only 4 95 2.2 grams of 925 cent silver and it's 4.95. Wow. That's really good. And it's not like it's it's just been laser cut out of a flat sheet and then, you know, so stamped out of a flat sheet or anything. Mm. It's actually formed. I'm just thinking. Is it? Would you hammer it? No, you, I reckon you could just form that around. Oh, no, you couldn't. You'd need to anneal it. How do you anneal it? Heat it. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to heat it up with the flame. Um, heat it, not eat heat, it, Mike. Heat it. Oh, it's got, it's actually got a bend in it there. It's formed, look. Mm. Can you see? Yeah. How nice is that? That is stunning. That is really That's stunning. really nice. That's actually a lot chunkier than I thought, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't form it into a ring. You wouldn't? Because, that, no, it's really solid. But you, if you if you anneal, annealed it and softened it, mm. then you could form it into the front of a ring, and then a little bit of wire. That'd be a really nice ring, wouldn't it? Just mm. form it around the finger. So if you heat it up to anneal it and soften it, and then um, just with your ring mandrel, you'd be able to actually form it with your so fingers you'd have to over do it the whilst top. Whilst it's still warm? No, or once, it's, once it's been annealed. Yeah, once it's been annealed um, and, and then and to get it strength down, back, you just polish it up again. Yeah, you can polish it or just um, use a nylon hammer okay. and just tap with a nylon hammer on there. Lovely. That's, that's really nice. I like I'm that. I'm all about one. I just want to do it. I some. think, yeah, that's a perfect Ooh. with some. Um, S long cord. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. Okay. Moving on to what's that? <gasps> there, there, there. <gasps> there, 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 there. Oh gosh, done it again. Oh. I just don't <laughs> understand. I, I, no, you're like a magnet, but when it's <laughs> opposing poles. I am a repelling magnet. Yeah. To your, on, Steph. to your um, mic pack. Mm. No, I'm all... Sorry, Deb, there you go. Thanks. You talk about that. Oh, that's a nice colour. And there's real clarity on those as well, look. Aren't they gorgeous? They are really gorgeous. That's a uh, lovely strand. Ah, it's from Nepal. No, please, Kainite is the one that everybody is after at the moment. All the big designers are after it. Look at um, that colour. It's that amazing natural colour. It's completely natural. And if you have a look at good quality Kainite, it gives you like this um, slightly silvery sheen to it. It's like almost like got an ethereal glow. Mm. That's really nice. Nineteen ninety-five, forty-two carats. They're a, a gorgeous shape as well. Really, um, really nice if you're uh, using them in sort of connectors 
as bracelets or mm. um, just individual ones dotted throughout chain. Mm. Chain, chain, chain. Yeah, that is really stunning. Mm. What was that, sorry? I'm singing the song from the commitments, Mike. You're taking this too deep. Oh, wait, 100, 6, triple 4, 6, triple 5. I'm just ignoring Mike. Jones, you do it. It could be either. Main difference, a hummingbird is tiny compared mm. to a kingfisher from Sheila. Indeed. Mm. I saw um, hummingbirds in America, in California. Did they you? were so cute. They were like... They were like... <laughs> we have a, um, a woodpecker. That's yes, making a bit of an appearance at the moment. They're noisy, aren't they? Yes! I was like, what's going on? Went to my lounge. Drew, someone's trying to break in. <laughs> yeah. And there it was. Little woodpecker. Mm. Having a little peck of wood. <laughs> you saw a what? A puffin. It's tiny. Little puffin. Tiny. 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 I've never I seen a puffin. I thought they were bigger than this. Yeah. Oh. Any quest wow. collar tonight, please? Oh. Um, no, I'm afraid not. We don't have it tonight. Can we try and get some in for the show tomorrow night, Phil? Yeah, we can do it for tomorrow night. If we've got any in the building, I promise, or any in the business, I promise we'll put it on the show tomorrow night for you. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a minute. Oh. I don't need a neck to present. <laughs> Do you know what? The support I get from my team on live TV. Okay. Oh, my neck. Yeah, I need a massage. Oh. Do you know what I think it is? What? What is it? It's like with a different pillow last night. I think that's been coming on. Ah. Uh. But then when I didn't sleep and I was tossing and turning because of the bird outside at 19 minutes past three. I just come to work for a moon. Right. <laughs> oh, for a good old whinge. Do you need a whinge? Do you need a whinge today, Do you Deb? know, a whinge, I need to whinge about my finger now. Go on, Deb, have a whinge. Uh, let's do the cry surprise and then we can hear all about Deb's whinge. If anyone out there needs a whinge, we're here. Oh. Let's just be grumpy. Do you have a grumpy half oh, hour? Do you know, it's really nice to be grumpy sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Just be, be a real grouch. Yeah, we'll have a grump for a few yeah. minutes, yeah. UJ, are <laughs> you nine one? But that is beautiful. That's Look at this, colour. all the way from Kenya. Now, the Kenyan Christ Prize is phenomenal in having this... It is, but yeah, it is an absolutely perfect green, isn't it? It's almost like a rainforest, tropical rainforest yeah, green. Yeah, yep. Definitely. You can imagine... No, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Mike, so you can just imagine little monkeys jumping around. Tree frog! <laughs> Tree frog! Yes! That's an 82 carat strand. Geckos is what I'd say to tree frogs. I love it. I do love a little gecko. They're so cute. Yeah, I like geckos. Yeah. Yeah. Except not in your bed. No. You had a gecko in your bed? Um, running across the top. Yeah. I, I don't know if you came in, my in bed. the bed. Yeah. Uh. The gecko in my bed when I was 18 and I went on holiday with my best friend. <laughs> Did it make you jump? Absolutely terrifying. 24.95 and it is completely natural. That colour is sensationally vibrant. Beautiful. I think tree frog green is the perfect way I to think describe that's it. I think the most yeah. significant, useful thing you've ever said, Mike. <laughs> uh, it is, it is. Tree frog. Go on, what's yeah, your grump then, Debs? What's your grump? Oh, I've made my finger bleed. 
I was like, oh no, did you do it on the saw blade? No, how did you do it, Deb? Do I have to say now? No. I caught it on my zip, on my trousers when I went to the loop. Yes, these purple trousers! <laughs> we like to share. Good job, um, I've, I've have got a grump. plaster. Do you need a grump? No, Leah's uh, alright. Are you alright? Phil? Mm. Do you need to have a moan about anything? No. No? Mike? No. Oh. I've got a list. I've, I've, got, a, I've <laughs> got a grump. The other day, yeah. I, was, I was going home from Jewellery Maker, yeah. right? And I was in the car and the reserve light thing came on for the petrol. Reserve right. fuel. It's diesel, it's not petrol. And then... Um, I was like, oh no, because that really stresses me out. That's yeah, like, my I'm a big, bit like that. my big panic. I can't cope with that. So I was driving home and I had like 20 odd miles still to go. And there's no petrol stations between oh, coming off the yes. motorway and where I live, except for one that closed down. And um, so I was panicking all the way. But my gripe is, right, it tells you that you're in reserve fuel. And then the little light came on and started flashing. Flashing lights. That scared me. And um, it didn't tell me how many miles I had. No, it doesn't when it goes into reserve, does it? No. So what, did you just get home on a wing and a prayer and hold yeah. your breath? I just swore all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> well, did it work? It worked. There you go. You and don't I need had enough. Now. I had enough to then mm. get to the petrol station as well. That what a just... story. Can you believe it? Yeah. My gripe's all about Stress. my car as well. Is it? Yeah. They're good for gripes. Oh, it's just... Woof, woof. Uh, anyway, where should we go to? Oh, this is lovely. Really, really lovely. Here's what, sorry. Oh, that'd look nice with the kyanite. Wouldn't yes, it? Yes, it would. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. A match made in gemological heaven. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect together, because you've got the blues across the rainbow moonstone, as well mm. as the, the silver tones within the kyanite. That is a really oh. stunning match. Five yes. by four up to a 12 by six, and that's a 30 centimetre strand from gemstone to gemstone. S X. Are you? Eight five. Four ninety five. Wow. Four pounds. Oh, wrong one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bash myself in the face. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Sixty carats from gemstones. To gemstone. They're fab. There's some big ones there as well, aren't there? There are. Yeah. Rings. Earrings. Yeah, lovely. Do I love chandelier style earrings? It's done. good actually to do that with um, the different sizes because you get the um, you get the, the contrast so you can layer up then and get different lengths. Yeah, of, of yeah, like and there are some lovely varieties of sizes there. Five by four up to a twelve by six. Has that screen just come on? No. <laughs> okay. I think that's just flashed well, the, on. The, the big screen yeah. or the little screen? The big screen. No, the big screen's on because I was reading carrot weights earlier. Oh, OK. Mm. Why is that there? X, no, it's not. It's S-X-R-U-8-5. OK, let's go to... Oh, what day is it? Monday. Monday. So you possibly could get this for Father's Day. Ooh. Yes. That's fab. I had a pint then. I forgot what I got my dad for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I've got him then. I've got my statue of meerkats. Aww. A big meerkat and two little meerkats. So it's him and, and Charlie and Freddie. Oh, cute. A statue of me? No. <laughs> a bronze thing for in the garden. Of meerkats. <laughs> you thought I got... Yes, I bought my father a statue of myself. <laughs> no. This is 3 dollars 
25 a load of chocolate from the shop where I had to do a complaint. Uh, 40 carrots of Labradorite. Three pounds and ninety-five pence. Now look at them. When you're looking at these, they are so obviously organic. They've almost mm. got a pebbly yeah. quality to them, which makes them re just really. I think the with tourmaline. Yeah. You know, got some. Got some. I can't even talk. <laughs> with some of the the greens, yeah. especially. With the little nuggets that we've got. Yeah. The tourmaline. Yeah. Little polished nuggets. They yeah. are like little pebbles, river pebbles. Pebbles and, on um, the beach. Oh, my dad always used to skim pebbles, so this would, would be really good because it's, it's got that connection. Yeah. Then. What was your record? I'm rubbish at it. My record is throw it. <laughs> Can you skim stones? Yeah, I can't do it. You've never tried? Ten. <gasps> you haven't tried since you were about ten years old? Why not? Why? Oh, I love it. Are you good? No. No. I like to think I am. My average is three. On a good run, five. Mm. I think That's I've done, good, I've done a seven. I remember it happening. It was years ago on the beach at Cricketh. That's, that's really good. But I think it's only ever happened once in my life. I average about a three. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with that. I actually think... I just I, can't do Drew it. Drew says that. I've got this look of... I think I'm really sporty <laughs> when I'm doing it. <laughs> I like to find them and I like to, yeah, go You have to weigh it up in your hand, don't yeah. you? Make sure oh, it's like no, the right... Oh, no, they're more off the shape. Yeah. I can spot them. Yeah, that bigger one. And it's all in there. Yeah. Three ninety-five. Hello, Amanda and Janet, Eileen and Christine and Jennifer. Remember, you can text in if you need a grump, if you need a moan. Okay, we're going to move on. Oh, golly, this is so pretty. I'd reach on this and just have it as a little necklace with a little clasp. I love that. This is a Beryl strand of chips. Now, Beryl is the collective family name for aquamarine, golden beryl, um, morganite, emeralds. It's, this is really, really beautiful. And within that, you get your different tonal colours as well. That, that is really pretty. It's not so it is. delicate blossoms, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, bouquet of flowers. Perfect on a tree of life. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, really pretty. What would you do with it, Debs? Mmm. I think I would actually knot it with some thread, Eslon thread, in, in through it. It'd be lovely. Yeah. Silver grey, like your sofa colour. Oh, yeah, the mm. sofa that I want to buy. Yeah. That would yeah. work with that. That's lovely. Look at all these different tones in there. And they're really strong as well, those colours. Yeah, you've got lovely peachy tones yeah. in there. You've got a really lovely peach mm. morganite in there. A bit more of the pink mm. tones. Gorgeous depth of the aquamarine. A more delicate tones. Well, it's only 3 95 It's only 3 Wowie. It's 3 95 If you've made a purchase today, you whack it on the order. If you haven't made a purchase yet today, it's only 3 95 3 95 is your postage and packaging price for all of your purchases from midnight to midnight. So go for it. Shop, 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 shop. That's really lovely. I can imagine that actually mm. just very delicately wire wrapped on the side of a little comb in your hair yeah. as well. That'd be pretty. That'd be really good actually, talking about fascinators um, in, in fascinators because the colour and the shape of them mm. is just really sort of blossomy. So, as, yeah, that'd be nice. Lovely, yeah, to go to a wedding. Yeah. Are you going to a wedding this year? No, I don't think so. Mm. I don't we think I am. a bit of dust out here. Well, I'm just going to sneeze earlier. It's probably that bit of dust floating around. That's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Mm. Oh, 0800 644 6 £3.95. Love that. Oh, that's perfect with your, your top, actually. I was just yes. thinking that. I've not worn this top before and I don't know if I like it. Mm, works with that strand, that's for sure. So I only ever wear it with this strand. <laughs> Thanks, <Dex. laughs> Yeah. That's me told, no. lovingly. Maybe it's because I put the dark blue underneath. I think that was perhaps a mistake. Pardon? Right. So 
that again, sorry. Do you mean 16? Yes. Oh, ooh, ooh. I love these. Whenever I get a strand like this, the opportunity to buy a strand, a bulk buy. Bulk buy, bulk buy, bulk buy. It is just a corker and facets, facets, facets. A pop, mm. a put a ho. Oh, brilliant. Approximately 94 facets on each bead. Done wow. by hand. Isn't that epic? Isn't that cool? It is. Look at the sparkle you're getting. 12 millimetres. I do like that for a size. Yeah, I do. Yeah. KV P058. You won't believe the price on this. pounds and 95 pence i honestly thought that would be a strand more around the 20 pounds mark five pounds and 95 pence big 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 look i love your top so pretty oh thanks victoria i think i'll probably work better if i pick out a paler tone to wear underneath i wasn't really thinking i quite like the contrast yeah, yeah. i don't know I don't know if maybe it makes me, people might think I'm pregnant. You know, when you wear an empire line, it looks like you're trying to hide something. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. and I never will be. No! Never happening ever again. No. I've done my bit for society. Produce two, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> KVP058. Everyone would always know ever if I was pregnant because I'd just be sick. <laughs> Yeah. I'd just go AWOL for a few months like I did the last two times. Never happening again, it's fine. I'm just wearing a dodgy um a dodgy line. No, it doesn't even look like that. Oh, I don't know. I was wearing these when I was pregnant though, so I think I associate it. I'm not. Oh. It's probably my association mm. really. Yeah. Five pounds and ninety five pence. I seriously need to get these glasses sorted. Scratch to smithereens. I wonder if um mm. I'm oh. scared though. I was thinking, I wonder if I could polish them because you can use like um, silver polishes to polish stuff, oh, plastic and things. To be honest, there's probably quite a lot of things. Oh, I won't let me doubt when I first take my glasses off. <laughs> I've never realised that before. <gasps> I really don't like my dad when I'm squinted like that. Apparently, Leah looks like her dad when she's not wearing <laughs> makeup. Oh, no. No. No, I'm, I'm using the wrong type of top, really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Do you know what? It's funny you should say that. I'm doing a comparison to my dad. Right, okay. Let's go to... Oh, do you know what? This has been... How much are you going to do this one for, Phil? How much? This is known as the gemstone of happiness. And 95 no. pence folks sorry we were just having that. a little bit of a chat there about the fact that we've got another strand identical to this that should have been on the show and how much is that we were really confused about the price of it but no that's right the code is right f a y y one six right take advantage let's see who's on the phone lines for this one it's completely stunning um citrine i would say if you got the ametrine earlier as well Ooh, and a yeah. nugget bundle to put this alongside it'd be gorgeous and in fact, yep. I have nice. got a strand of amethyst coming up. Now, they are exactly the same family. Brazilian sourced quartz, with which this is here, um, gives you incredible clarity because it's formed in geodes. So you get that amazing, amazing clarity. Now, what you see with a lot of Brazilian uh, sourced quartz as well is that it goes through a heat treatment. The reason being, you get clarity because it's been cocooned in um, geos whilst it's been forming but then it hasn't had access to the heat that naturally occurs in the ground as much so if you see brazilian 
quartz, so Brazilian, citrines, Brazilian amethyst. Chances are you've got the incredible clarity because it's been protected from any inclusions being able to be formed, but then it's just enhanced by heat. Then if you look to other sources, for example, like Zambian uh, emeralds, uh, sorry, Zambian um, amethyst, <laughs> I'll get more words out in a minute, then that's when you tend to get that incredible depth of colour, but you get lots of inclusions. So it really depends what your preference is. But these are really, really, really stunning. I quite like this type of citrine as well, this hue with amber. Oh, nice, you know, yeah. I saw um, we had a little, little trip to the pub yesterday uh, with some friends, all the... Um, I had a little apple tie as well, I was driving. Uh, we had, had been to a baby shower, drank tea all afternoon, quenched my thirst, a little appetizer. But all the children from the school had been to a little party and then all mm. the parents thought, well, can't bother to cook now, let's go for fish fingers and chips at the pub for the kids. So we're out in the beer garden and I saw a friend there yep. whose little boy was wearing a Baltic amber bracelet. Oh. And I worked out, you know when you can do it really quickly in your head, mm. I thought cost-wise, well, that's probably about £1.50 or something. If you look at cost, because it's tiny, 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 tiny. $24.99 she paid for it. Mm -hmm. Wowzers. Two ninety five. This is a really beautiful, stunning gemstone strand. And it is known as the gemstone of happiness. That is a stunner. Can I see the call screens, please, there, uh, Philippe? Muchas gracias. Oh, my Ooh. goodness, we're busy, Deb. Wow. People watching. You going on your holes this year? You have <gasps> plans? I'm going, well, mm, I've got sort of things in, right. but uh, it's not like um, a full on big holiday. Having lots of little breaks away. Yeah. Nice. Going to festivals. Oh, yeah. Going, Are you? Yeah. We're going to a Viking to and... festival, me and Leah gonna... and Amelia. Are you? Mm. You're going to camp? Not that one, no. No. But I am going to camp um, at a festival at the end of this month. Is that the one you're going to on your own? Mm. Yeah, it's going to be so funny, me putting up a tent on my own. Can't you get one of those ones that you open up in the bag and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> Which we've got when we go down to the beach. And so, or, or even up in the, in the garden for the kids when it's really sunny. Which is brilliant. But it is the biggest hoo-ha uh, trying to get it packed away again. I'm like... Sit people on Did it. You know, what? it yeah. But it's actually, you see other families trying to do the same thing. So the last time we were on the beach, it was about four of us all doing it together. Right, fold over here. Fold <laughs> over here. Uh, Don't breathe, fold over here. <laughs> Two pounds and 95 pence. That is an amazing deal on that. Should we do that amethyst that I just showed? Because that is spectacular. Let me show it to you alongside the citrine. What's your beach bugbear? I don't like sand. No. That's my problem. Hey, can I tell you a little trick that I learned on the beach last year with a friend? Yeah. Getting sand off. Talcum powder. Really? Yeah. So you talcum... Like so you're covered in sand, you've, got, you've been in the sea, you've rolled around in the sand, you're just thinking, oh, I look like a big sand monster. Mm -hmm. Put some talcum. Yeah. Brush it off, it just brushes off. Because the talcum really? absorbs the water. And I know there's quite a lot of... You know, if you're associated with that kind of thing. But if, if you're doing it on the beach, you're in the open air. Don't you look really white after it? Well, you it's brush not, it off. You're like... not putting, you know, cream on and then putting it. It's not going to really stick to you. You're brushing it off, Mike. Don't worry about it. I'm going to... He does panic try that. about <laughs> these things. <laughs> he has concerns. Yeah, he thinks far too much. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm. Mm. Five ninety-five on this. Now this is Zambian. So what I was saying before about oh, you get the depth nice. of colour. Yeah. But interestingly enough, with this strand, even though you get there's very little inclusions, yeah. Yeah. this is a fabulous strand for balance of clarity and colour. Wowzers! Yeah, really, really fab. Completely natural. No real compromise for clarity. There. That's that's stunning. Mm. Eighty-five carats. That's a really good price mm. for that as well. Isn't, isn't it? it? Wow. Big Why have you pieces. found all of these? pieces tonight, Phil. He stole them. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well. Right. Let's do... Oh, these are dinky. 
Oh, this is a strand that I would use one bead on every piece of jewellery I make. Mm. So like a little, you know, if you've got an extender on the back of a necklace, pop one of these on. It's like it's your little trademark because it's the gemstone of look. It's like the gemstone equivalent of giving a four-leaf clover. You've got a lot on that strand to use. You've there. got a lot on the strand <laughs> and yeah. it's August birthstone. They are exquisite. Nice faceting, actually. I do like a faceted peridot. Do you, you like the... a faceted peridot? I do. Because you've got, you've got all of that green sitting yeah. there, and then you've got all of the sparkle on top of it. So it's just a really vibrant strand. It is. It really yeah. is. It'd look amazing with so many different colours because green, when you think about it, lots of people say, how do you know what colours to put with what? Just look to nature. Mm. That really is a fabulous strand. Zesty. Nice. I like that. Oh, with that rose quartz strand we had earlier on, mm. you know, the rounds. <gasps> it's only seven ninety five. Mm. I think this would be really lovely integrated in some seed bead work as well. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Because you've got that pop of colour, so it can hold up against all of your sea big colour as well. Pop. Thank you. That's Mike's contribution. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five twenty five carat. Okay, let's move on. I have this beautiful little mm. strand here on the end, and I think it must be an agate. Choc oh. <laughs> chocolate agate. Oh. It doesn't smell of chocolate. Trust, it, trust you to pick the chocolate. I don't like chocolate mousse. It's a waste of a chocolate flavour. I like chocolate mousse. Do you? Mm. Do you? No, it's like hot chocolate. I mean, I like it and everything, but I'd rather have the calories in at home. Yeah. Mm. Would you take a chocolate mousse over a chocolate bar? Depends what the bar was. A bar of chocolate? Yeah, but what type? Just it's got to be galaxy. Oh, are you a bit of a galaxy obsessed mm. person? I didn't yeah. know that. Yep. Yep. Then there I'd you go, the for anybody who wants to send Deb a gift <laughs> <laughs> or a bribe. Yeah. She's very easily bribed. I am. Yeah, it's she true. is. She is. Yeah. Galaxy chocolates, where it's at with Deb. Right, 30 carrots. You want a Willy Wonka chocolate bar. Have you had one of them? Is it nice? Yeah, it's really good. Is it really good? It's got chocolate and sweets, and that's Leah. Oh. Mm. So this so, is. So you'd have chocolate? Over mousse. Oh, every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. yeah. Waste of calories, mousse. It's a bit airy, isn't it? It is a bit airy. Yeah. It's not going to make you feel. You can eat full a lot of, of it, though. Can't you? Yeah. Can yeah, eat but you more. haven't got the. <clears throat> feeling. No, you haven't. <laughs> That's true. Marvellous, fabulous conversation. <laughs> Dumb feeling. Right, there's Strand. <laughs> I was thinking with earlier. With, no? Nope, with the amethyst. Oh. Mm. This is how much? Two pounds and 95 pence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, it's like that brand of chocolate <laughs> and the chocolate <laughs> with its wrapper. It is. Yeah, it is actually. Should we put the citrine with it as well? And then oh. it's. Oh no, it's not a gold wrapper, is it? Oh, oh but that could be a bit but like a crunchy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
My mum used talc when we were kids and I'm in my 50s. Oh, Josephine, oh. I thought it was a new discovery. I've not heard of it before. No, I haven't. No, we will be taking it in, take it in the beach bag. Phil used to do that all the time back in the day. Oh. Can't go anywhere without a bit talc. Who knew? Let us know your little tricks. I didn't know. Mmm. 0800 644 645. Anybody got a brilliant thing for getting chocolate out of a cream carpet? Oh, Mike. Mike, how have you survived living out of, moving out of home, eh? Because you're good at fixing stuff. You've just suggested I pour white wine on chocolate. That's a waste of both best things in the <laughs> yeah, world. Yeah, it is. I'd be lying on the floor yeah. licking my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two pounds and 95 pence. <laughs> oh, I have uh, three Cadbury's chocolate trifles every day. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Josephine! What are chocolate trifles? What's a chocolate? I've, I don't know what that is. Are they like in a little pot, like a yogurt pot? Are they, are they mini ones or are you going in? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, <laughs> yeah. Breakfast, lunch and tea. Mm. Three a day, I think you are obsessed. Maybe you need to write yeah. to them and tell them your obsession, the fact that you mention it on TV and get some scent. Sponsorship. Mm, I got sent a ton of free twirls once because it one came out of the vending machine with only one and a half pieces in it. One and a half sticks. Do you remember Spiras? No. You don't remember Spiras? Oh, they were amazing. They were sort of the same length as a twirl. This is only 2 95 still. Same length as a twirl, but with gaps all the way down, so you could use it like a straw to suck up your tea. Really? You don't remember Spiras? No. How can you not? Chomps? You can still get chomps, can't you? Yeah, I think you can. Probably from retro sweet shops. <laughs> yeah. Why does hmm. it always come back to food on our shows? I don't know. You've eaten, Josephine, you've had three chocolate trifles today and yesterday and the day before. I don't like trifle. I don't know my mum makes it. She makes a cracking trifle. Mm. A cream egg was invented in 1923, apparently. Mm. Two ninety-five. <laughs> Chocolate agate, that's why. Oh, that's I'm supposed why to be you coming went up back to chocolate. Yeah, yeah I know, and yeah. I'm, I can't even talk about it. I'm literally salivating now. Little pots with cream. Do you know what? I can even tell the way you've written that, Josephine. You love them, don't you? Little pots with cream. <laughs> See, if they're just little, can I ask, do you have one, how do you space them out through the day and do you just restrain yourself to just three? Restrict, restrain. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Restrict yourself to just three, yeah? Um, when's Galaxy, or when Galaxy Chocolate first came out, I remember it was sold as an aid to digestion. Galaxy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, are you serious? <laughs> Maybe I should eat less. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the world we live in. Right. Oh, now. These are Ooh. deliciously chunky, chunky, chunky. Big, 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 big wow fact on these. And you've got a lovely, lovely, lovely Labrador essence. Look at these. They're a bit more of the great hue of Labrador. Gosh, these are gorgeous. They the are. TV studio never does this gemstone justice. So I'm sorry to say that what you can see on your TV screen right now is rubbish in comparison to how it's going to be when you get them home. They are mesmerizingly gorgeous. Every single one. Did you get a bit of interference there? Yes. I did too. I could hear someone talking, but not. I got that as well. That's weird. Did you hear it, Leah? Do you uh, know what it is? Oh. Are we tuned into a local taxi van? <laughs> it doesn't. 
Aliens, that would be it. Aliens in yeah. my head. Oh, no. 14. 95. OK, everybody, we've gone quiet. So look at these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Ooh. 24. Right, we have got... Really freaked out. Basically, myself, Deb and Leah all have earpieces and we can hear something going on. It must be like... Mm. It's like a taxi rank or something. Do you know what? When I was a student, I had one of those... We won on a funfair, one of those tigers that roars and its, its eyes light up when you tap its head. <gasps> and whenever a taxi went past it, it set it off. <laughs> huh? We used to pick up world service on things. Did you? Yeah. That'll be the aliens. Yeah, it's like that. Sixty-nine ninety-five. This is on offer. We've got a handful remaining. This has been the most extraordinary deal of the night so far. The more extraordinary deals to come because Deb is up next with her other kit. And it's yes. really, 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 really nice. stunning. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I hope you're having a lovely time, just as we are. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you on the other side of this. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.
Good evening. So, just a moment. Um, just a moment ago, we did the diamonds. We had a couple of people we think might change their minds. We've still got just a few of those diamonds remaining. They're the best price I've ever been to. They're less than £100. Like £99.95 is the lowest previous. £69.95 on offer tonight only until midnight. Grab them while you can. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You might as well get them. So go for it. Mm. Now, our next kit is a real, real stunner. It's beautiful. It, it is. is really beautiful. Where are, where are my chains? Now, it comes in... Are we going to do it in two sections, Phil? We are. So we're going to give you two different ways of getting it. Um, all of it together are basically... If you have a look at the necklaces that Dev's made there, either side. So take away the one with the pearls in the centre. But the other ones are chains with these amazing silver bars attached. And they're here. And then Deb has used them in the most extraordinary way and you've engraved on them and well stamped on it and there's just loads going on so that one there that just says oh there we go it says believe i love that for me that looks like a little fairy has quite a course it across it in the night and would believe oh, yeah believe we're all about fairies in our house at the moment we're bribing Freddie with the fairy will. He'll do anything for the fairy. He won't do anything for me or Drew. Really? He'll do anything for the fairy. Yeah. Yeah, we're going with it. We're going with it. Yep. Yeah. Freddie, can you put your shoes on, works. please? No, I don't want to, Mummy. The fairy would like you to. Okay, I love you, fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Believe. That's beautiful. I love the sentiment behind that and I love the design of that. So you can see that they come as a chain with the bars. You get all three of them. They're all um, 43 centimetres or 17 inches. Now, with the next one there, you've actually drilled into drilled it. Drilled into it, yeah. So, um, it ju it's just perfect to suspend something from, a charm from, any of yeah. the charms that we've had. Ooh, you know that Art Deco one? The, yes. The, you could actually nice. suspend that. Yeah, really nice. That's one yeah. of the Cubits Coney we had earlier on. And then I really, <coughs> excuse me, I really love that. Now, you've actually been able to split the chain. And if I can just say, yep. further around the back, uh, you've then got the detailing eek. of the silver beads. Sorry. Eek. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Yeah, it's all right. Getting it to work. That's lovely. Just little detailing to make it all a little bit asymmetric and a real designer look. So... We'll look at the other piece in a moment, but those are the three pieces that, as their fundamental core of the design, they've used these 925 sterling silver chains with the bar across. So, you've got um, lots of fingerprints on there as well. <laughs> yeah. Which won't there are be on mine as well. There. Imagine the fi I mean, you can have the fingerprints if you want. Um, but yeah. Just give those a little rub. I did have my polishing cloth somewhere, but I can't find it now. Tied it up. Oh, wait, 100. Six trouble four, six or five. Let's take one of these off. Have I done it that way? What's happened there? I've just got those two tangled. Let's get that one. They're really, really, They're really thick. substantial. Yeah. yeah. So it works it just on the sides. Yeah. Good. That's lovely. That's really lovely. 925 sterling silver. That's a, that feels quite weighty. Really? What's the weight on yeah. these, Phil? Yeah. Let me show you the clasp on the back as well. It's a really elegant lobster claw clasp on there. It's a beautiful chain as well. Really beautiful because it's incredibly fine to give you this very yeah. elegant look. But at the same time... You can see that you could just pop a little bit of wire through there, should you need to. Say that again, sorry. Each. In each chain. There's four grams of silver in each of these. You can really feel yeah, it. You, you can, can really feel the weight of that. It feels like utter luxury. Yeah. 0800 644 We've got 50 minutes left of our live show. We want to make sure we've got loads of bargains coming your way. So we're going to do, I've got to be honest, we are going to take this way lower than we should have done. The price of silver fluctuates all the time. Say that again, sorry.
that's where we should be at and that was reflective of the time that it was brought in tonight for a four gram necklace it will work out at less than 12 pounds a necklace wow. for four grams when you've got a big bar of silver on there as well now you can take that off and deb's actually you're going to show us how to deconstruct we and can, reconstruct yep. aren't you yep, yep. so if you wanted to take that bar off and use it in a different way you can and then you can attach wire onto the bar and you could make your own loops and you could use that in so many so many different ways that's a really big thick piece of 95 stone silver you'll get that three times over it works out at less than 12 pounds that's amazing that is amazing that's absolutely yeah. amazing Little fairy prince, believe. Is that your, what was the intention behind that? Have I just totally taken your intention and ripped no, it to shreds? No, no, no. I just thought it's um, it's just something that we should all do more. Is actually believe in ourselves and believe in the impossible and just strive to to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, thirty-four ninety-five. I think the day that you stop believing, it's a sad day. Mm. 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 Thirty-four ninety-five. Love that. Really love that. And then of course you've got the other designs which use them. Um, one of them is a bale, and in fact you've used it as a bale on the other one as well on the far end. But that's where you've really embraced the asymmetric yeah. quality to it. Really, I like that a lot. Yeah, I'd wear that one so much because I, I just I like that, the fact that um, it's really quirky, different. I have that fern leaf. I wear it mm. just with a pearl. A pearl and the fern leaf just there. I've got them in different sizes as well. Mm. We've done all Lovely. sorts. So, yeah. 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 I love yeah. that a lot. Oh, wait, 100, 6, 4, 4, 6, 4, 5. Right. So, the other part... And the other part, so if we have a look at the other designs, you'll get to see then. Um, first and foremost, wow, you have made <laughs> Did you get two strands of pearls? Yeah. Yep. Because they're um they're, there's my second sample. Yeah. So I had four in total. Two strands okay, of pearls. Just let me confirm this for you. Have I got that wrong? You do. And two, yeah, two packs of stardust. Oh, wow! Okay, so I get. Wow, I thought it was amazing value for money as it was. Okay, amazing. So you're going to get. You'll get 100 Stardust Bees, so they come in packs of 50, you're going to get two 925 stones. So the price I thought was great, just for one pack, and so you'll get this again. So there's 50 there, you'll get another pack of those as well. I thought the price was great for the needle with the thread attached, one strand of pearls and 50 of these. You yeah. do in fact get two strands of pearls, 100 of these, and then the thread as well. And the thread is a 0.8. It's a massive feature of the design that Deb has done. So we look, if we look back over at the design again, you can see that Deb has pearl knotted between each one. So the 0.8 has gone through those pearls. Yeah, goes through. Yeah. And then you've used the stardust beads. Yeah, just as um, just little features. Some of them have got. Um, there are little sections of stardust beads. There are also um, the, the ones that are just either side of the pearl. And I've also put um, sterling silver crimp bead covers in there to act as um, a plain bead, just as a contrast. That's the great thing when you've done your pearl knotting with a 0.8. You can then use a crimp bead yeah. cover over the knot. And so you can look at your design that you've done this and go, oh, could just do with another little bead mm. there rather than taking it all apart you just then pop it mm. over the actual knot that's a fabulous design and then you've used the pearls obviously in the piece that was seen in the reconstructed yeah. necklace then the earrings and then the um little 
pendant coming from the chain that you've used as a bail. Really, really, really lovely designs. OEXC27, amazing price coming your way on this. Absolutely amazing. So you'll get, we should be at 38.95. They're big. So your pearls go from a seven by six up to a seven by nine. Remember, you'll get another pack of these as well. So the stardust beads that you're seeing, you get that again. Your needle will explain to you in just a moment. You will get the most amazing deal. Could I see the call screens, please? It's six and a half feet of the, um, the thread. Congratulations, it's down at 27.95. Now this will be a That's this will be a incredible. setup. You've got 100 of those Stardust beads. You get the two strands of the pearls. It's a free phone number on 0800 644 655. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Press that option one. O E X C 27. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Good grief! I can't believe that price for two strands of pearls. All of the those beads. I know. And ignore the picture the on the website. Apparently, the picture is wrong. Wow. Uh, saying it on live on live on TV for all to hear. The picture on the website is wrong. You do indeed get two strands of the pearls and two packs of the Stardust beads. So 195 sterling silver beads, two strands at 38 centimeters each length of pearls, and you get your six and a half feet of the 0.8. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Now, can yeah. you just before, I know we're going to learn how to deconstruct, can you just explain yeah. this needle and thread scenario, please? Yes. Yeah. So, if you have your needle and thread, then it's all attached. You just need to be careful. If I can find the wire. There we go. So, come off. That's it. So, you've got the wire actually attached onto your thread there. I'm sorry about my plaster, that looks really... <laughs> Hello, I should draw a little face on it. It looks um, like you've been very creative and so... had an accident, not just doing your zipper after you've been to loo. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut your thread, whatever you or do. Or your finger. Yeah, or your finger. So when you take it off the card, start threading. So if I... Take all of it off like that. Let's move you. And then, when you take your pearls, you need to actually thread them onto your thread and work right down. This is going to be the one pearl that doesn't go on now. That's it. Um, work right the way down from the end of that thread. So, start knotting right at the very end because then you, you keep your needle attached. If you cut that off, you'll never get your, th your um, pearls onto the, the rest of the, um, the silk. So tie your knots and then pop the next one on and slide it all the way down to that end again. And then tie your next and slide the next one in. So that is how I did that necklace. It's all in one section, um, just knotted between each, each pearl all the way round. So you need to make sure you work that way. <coughs> Sorry, I keep thinking I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> the, um, the knot at the bottom, um, that, that should undo as well, because it's all just one loop. So you can wear it knotted, or you can wear it um, just as a single strand, whichever, whichever you fancy doing. Thank you, Deb. Okay. Your Monday. okay, so we're going to learn how you've then been able to take apart that necklace to yeah. put in the other elements. It's something I say all the time is when we get sort of chains, I'll go, oh, I'll cut it and I'd put X, Y and Z in there. I'd rosary link in between and mm. da, da, da. And it's like, oh, well, that's, that's okay to say, but how do you actually do it? Yeah. So um, not every single chain will work. So like the, the chain we had earlier um, with those, yeah, 
those. I wouldn't cut into that one necessarily because um, the links. I've not looked close up. No, but it's I a thing. You, you can. You'd, you'd struggle to reconnect. Yeah. So just choose which chains you're going to cut because otherwise you're going to you know, you'll wreck a chain for no reason um so what i did i'm gonna look at this a bit while you're doing that i'm gonna have a look yeah. at this so if we um take the the chain and decide at what point do we want to to cut it so i wanted to put a charm coming off the bottom here um and I wanted to start putting beads in, pearls, whatever charms from about a centimetre up from, from the bottom of that V. So if you take the, take the chain and these links are gorgeous because you've mm. got um, almost like the diamond cutting on there. Yeah, I saw the so little So you've got real then. sparkle mm. with it. It's, it's amazing. So all I'm going to do is take my flush cutters and then just trim through one of the links. So you'll get little tiny pieces of silver. So just keep those and pop them in a pot. I've got mine somewhere that I've tidied away now. Um, so now we've got two links. And the issue is, when you, um, when you have a, a complete chain, um, each link has actually got two other links going into it. So if I try and put this head pin, it's a piece of wire that's from a head pin, mm. um, if I try and actually put that through the chain without cutting it, it won't go in because I've got two links into this link on the end in effect now I've cut it I've only got one other link going into it so there's room for this head pin to actually fit into the link does that make sense yeah um, so you need to you need to take that into account when you're thinking about what size wire can I actually get into the chain links so I'm just gonna have a look I didn't even try but let me just try and see. No, it won't go through until I've cut it on that. So that's, that's fine. So what we're going to do now is this is um, a section of head pin. And I'm just going to do a really simple loop. So try and keep the loop really tiny. So you right, do that by using right the down end. at the end of your pliers. Okay. So I'm going to make a smaller loop as we possibly can. So We're just going to pop a blackboard underneath so you can see this and perhaps a little bit clearer. OK. Thank you. So we've got our tiny little loop there, mm -hmm. nice and neat and tidy. And we're going to just open that up and then with our chain just slide that link into the loop close it down and then you can pop one of your black pearls on like that and then what we need to do is now make another loop on the other side so I've bent the the um, head pin wire up and I'm, I think this is going to be a bit too small so yeah so I need to trim that down probably take a couple of millimeters off And then we're going to just make another nice neat loop at that side. 
and then take the chain and just reconnect it there. So the, then obviously if you've got um, like the butterfly charm, actually we had that butterfly charm earlier, didn't we? Yeah. And the fact that it's um, gold plated, that would actually look gorgeous with this. Yeah, definitely you could, mixing and matching your metals. Yeah, you could either drill it and then hang it underneath or you could put it in um, asymmetric on the side. So that's got that pearl attached in. But what, what that's going to do is if we're putting um, charms or pearls or whatever in on this side, it's actually going to get longer than the other side. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's why that is then going to hang on the asymmetric. On the asymmetric yeah. And your clasp is still at the top. So what you need to do now is think about... Um, if I'm adding in more along this side, it's going to get longer and longer. And what will happen is that bar will sort of travel up this side. Oh, okay. So, so do you suggest just putting one piece in at a time and holding it, another piece yeah, and hold it? Yeah, and check it. And that's why on that piece I then did the rosary linked um, stardust beads on this side mm -hmm. to extend this chain down. So all I did for that, I took. Um, 0.25 wire and then cut the chain up near the the clasp so if I just take a little section and then trim that link and then back there make some some little rosary links so so if I just pop my chain through my wire rather through the chain and then make a nice little wrap loop so hold that and then just twist the end around and I used the 0.25 instead of a 0.4 because I wanted it to be quite fine I didn't mm. want you to really see the wire I wanted to you see don't look any different than the chain yeah I wanted it to And it merge, doesn't, it totally blend. flows, yeah. So then, point 0.4 would fit through the chain if, you, if that's what you've got, or you can, use, um, you can use fine head pins as well. They're really good for rosary linking with. I'm looking at the necklaces you're wearing now and how you've put rosary links mm, in there as well. Rosary linked in there. Yeah, really lovely. Yeah. So we're just going to do... I do like rosary linking. Mm, it's I don't quite know. therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Just trim that. And then we'll do one more. So if I just grab that, make another loop, and then we're going to pop this side on the loop and just twist that end around there that, that little tail so that's then that loop just trim off that excess oops our stardust bead on there and then this next one we can reconnect into the chain so if I take the loop 
half the way round, find the end of the chain. So this um, section at the back was the, the last sort of element that I put on because then, because these are so small mm. in terms of um, sort of the, the rondelle, they, you can adapt the amount that you're actually putting in. So we're just going to do a quick wrap around there and trim it off and then we're done. So that was point two po two uh, five point two but, five uh, wow. yeah but um a point four would work just as well so lovely um, and then if you can take it as far as you want to because yep. you can see that does put the butterfly in she puts some more of the star dust rondelles in another little pearl in there some more rondelles around the neckline and yeah just just keep adding hold it, in. it up and just but it's one of those pieces that can grow because as you um, get more charms it, it could be like a charm bracelet you know how you add in charms that signify different things mm. you can do that with that and just add extra elements on with jump rings and things and um, and build on it fabulous so, thank you so gorgeous much you legend day legendness thanks I really enjoyed these kits. You can tell. They are beautiful. So we've got loads of you with these still in your baskets. Carolyn, lots of anonymous shoppers, Michelle and Tina at the top of my list there to be checking out. So check your baskets out and take advantage of the deal. Great saving on that. And really good. once again, don't take note of the picture on the website. This is actually, actually two strands of pearls. And we'll, we'll try and get that changed for you. Uh, two strands of pearls, 50 um, Stardust beads is actually 100. And then your six and a half feet or two meter equivalent of your natural silk ready to pearl not there thank you so much now all of deb's designs will be photographed and popped onto the website and our facebook page as well so you can see those to be able to copy the designs and certainly get inspiration when you return to looking at that kit so when you get your kit home you can just put the code in and the images will pop up for you right then let's go to we've got 25 minutes left I do not have one of that number. Pardon? Ah. Pre night. Before it gets dark. <laughs> Phil. Oh. oh, Phil. Phil, Phil, Phil. Oh, Phil. Mm. Have a look at these. I love it. I love it. Pre night. I put these with the fasted black onyx that we had earlier. Oh, nice! Mm. Yeah. Now, amazingly, these pre night. Can you see all the inclusions inside? This one actually has dramatically less inclusions. But you can see them there. They're really sought after and they are basically rue tiles, usually of tourmaline, that have formed first and then the gemstones formed around it. Victoria, thank you so much, Deb. I have lots of loose chain oh. and not been able to use it. Your demo has helped me lots. A great show, thanks. And that's from Vicky. You're thanks, welcome. Thanks, Vicky, darling. Your work is amazing, Deb. Would love an hour in your design brain. It's a good <laughs> it's a job you put the place. design there because mm. I've known Deb for a long time now and an hour <laughs> in her brain. <laughs> Not many people could take that. <laughs> wow. Could they? No. 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 Mm. I can if I'm paid. <laughs> a lot. In chocolate. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. Um, OK, we're taking the pre-night even lower. Phil doesn't Ooh. want to see it again. Not that he's going to have much time to see it again, because he leaves next week. Uh, DHP 030, £3.95. Phil, am I with wow, you for your wait. last show? Uh, is Zena. Am I with you for your last show? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No. £3.95. Amazing. <gasps> Those pearls would look nice with these, actually. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't they? Yeah. 
You've just said that you're going to go into Birmingham straight after the show. I can't imagine anything worse. <laughs> I want to go home, have a cup of tea, yeah. and get into bed. Yeah. Tea and toast. I've got new jammies tonight. Have you? Yeah. Tonight? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm going to look like I'm on the old Aquafresh advert. Because they're proper granddad like pajamas. Stripings? Yeah, yeah, blue and white. Ooh, nice. Blue and white. Dun, dun. Pardon? Shall I take a picture? I liked that ad. I liked the song. We shall like that. Ding, 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 ding. Three in one protection for your family. It was good. Yes. It was good. Whatever happened? Do you still do it? Yeah, Uncle Fresh toothpaste. Yeah, my, my children use it. I should know that. They use it every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That still feels very grown up. My children. My right. child is at university. Oh, That's very scary. Yeah, that is. Mm. Um, right, let's go to... Mm. I quite like the idea of using this as some of the gold-plated silver that we've had on the show tonight. Yes. I do That's love That's a nice combination, isn't gold. it? Oh, I Are you two make... all right in there? I think they've lost the plot a bit. Is men behaving badly gone wrong yeah. in the gallery tonight? Yeah. What are they like? I'd make flowers with these. Yeah. And you know the um, rose gold over sterling silver space beads we had? The three millimetre ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd put those as the centre. Nice, nice flower. little cluster. Yeah. I'm making a flower basket for Sunday. Yes, Sunday. Mm. There we go. <laughs> and there endeth the story. <laughs> yeah, a little necklace or brooch. Little <laughs> wire work basket. Oh, with, with, with flowers in. Gorgeous. Yeah. Lovely. It is this weekend, day. isn't it? I've no idea, Deb. You basically live here, so... Well, I think it's why I work sculpture weekend or something. Ooh. or Yeah, something like that. Mm. This weekend I intend mm. to um, build yeah. my storage. Oh! Yep. We did the most painful exercise of our life. We thought it would be a good idea to take the kids to Ikea on a Saturday afternoon. No! Oh, well. I suppose it should, should always be done once. Done. It's done. Yeah. Done. Never again. Never, it's done. Never again. Yeah. No. Anyway, four pounds and ninety-five pence. I've got to say that IKEA was fabulous. I love it. The meatballs were as fabulous as usual. I don't think you can fault them as a store. I think their design concepts. I think the build and everything yep. is fantastic. It I was is. just a plonker trying to think it was a good idea. Not on a weekend. A Not on a weekend. Or any time. Freddie yeah. is. Uh, last night, just before we went to sleep. Mummy, I love you. Freddie, I love you too, darling. Mummy. Yes, Freddie. I don't like IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> Like, all right, darling, we don't have to go again. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's very polite for me. I don't like Ikea. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. However, Charlie, on the other hand, Mummy, I think I really like Ikea, you know, because... <laughs> mm, <laughs> I know, he's grown up now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, Charlie's very matter-of-fact. Because um, I like the way things just work. No. <laughs> yeah. Charlie's going to be an that's engineer. Freddie's going to be a pirate. Right. That's it. Yeah, that's what he said he wants to be. He's two and a half and he wants to be a pirate. Not a pilot, a pirate. I'm the Arities. Okay. Oh! Mm. Oh! Mm. Yes. I love that. It's got the same colour. Yeah. yeah. Check these mm. out. Yeah. No, no, Mummy, I love you. Mummy, I don't want to go like you. <laughs> They are gorgeous. Two hundred and forty carats. They're big. 10 millimetre. They look bigger than that. 
They do, don't they? I, think it must I don't be think the, the TV does the. I don't think no. that does that image there. Doesn't do them justice. No, it doesn't. No. They're only two ninety five. Ooh. An amazing way to really give a gorgeous depth of colour. They're the same colour as a flower my mum and dad have got in their garden at the moment, actually. A philanopsis? No, a filler. They're quite tall. I don't know. We don't really get flowers because we haven't got much sunlight. <laughs> Hence my blueness. <laughs> well, I am, aren't I? Look. Why don't you get much sunlight? Trees. Mm. Yeah. Trees. We had to chop a few down in the garden. We've now got light, and we've got some lots of we've got we've got lots of trees, but we've got trees as well. Mm. We've got tree preservation orders on them and stuff. Have so, you? Yeah. Ooh, that's so we can't important. cut them. Yeah, we can't cut them down. And it's nice to have trees. It is. Yeah. Nice to have a bit of sun. Yeah. So do you not have grass? You've got moss. We have. We've got a lot of moss. <laughs> yeah, we have. You don't have to go out and cut your lawn. You just trim we your have, moss. We have got grass as well, but yeah, we've got a lot of moss. We've got ferns. Hmm. We've got rhododendrons. And then you have got flowers. Mm, they've all gone now. Okay. Mm. We've got yeah. another bud on our magnolia. So that'll oh. be a third potential time it's blossomed this year so far. Oh, that's good. Mm. I thought they only did it once. Yeah, yeah, ours has always gone twice. Anyway, yeah. uh, love the show. Thanks for just talking about our life. Please, <laughs> can you tell me the size of the black pearls in the last kit? Yes, my lovely. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, Phil, can we just confirm mm. the size of those pre pearls in the previous kit? He's put the screen, uh, text on screen and not given me the answer. He was too busy chatting, wasn't he? Mm. Seven by six up to a seven by nine. And another message. It's even scarier when <gasps> your ch child has a child. But love being a nana. How's it going, Susa? <laughs> Is it all all right? Yeah. I've told my child he's not allowed to have a child just yet. No. 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 Not yet. No. 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 Not for a while. Mine are always going to live with me. <laughs> are they? Actually, after the last few days, they can happily move out. You know, <laughs> when they're six. <laughs> they can move. Yeah. I've said, oh, if they're very, very, very shed good. down the bottom of the garden. Well, we've already got one of those, but they don't, they don't say it now. I've said no. they can move out and they can go and live with Nanny and Grandad. Or tidy up your toys. Your choice. <laughs> I want to live with Nanny! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh, gosh, this is a beautiful colour. This would look so lovely with that strand of beryl nuggets that we had earlier. Yes, because it you've would. got the presence of aquamarine in a strand of multicolour beryl anyway. But this, this is mm. beautiful. Now, aquamarine of this calibre and these colours, isn't that beautifully ethereal? It is. It's I a think very they'd serene stone. Really nicely with jadeite, actually. They'd look lovely with that. Yeah, they some, would. Some um, uh, jadeite like ovals, I think. They're only five ninety-five. It's genuine natural aquamarine. They are very jadeite esque. Yeah. Beautiful. Five ninety-five. Five ninety-five. Can you imagine those a few morganite? Yeah. I yeah. Think yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I don't know whose voice that was. Yeah, Karen, yeah. yeah. It was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the nicest combination uh, of <laughs> Oh, don't. You're going to make me laugh yeah. like Mutley. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> like you said it. <laughs> that would lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was like that, yeah. <laughs> Some funny noises sometimes, honestly. Uh, I woofed the other day. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> Price
just came on and I went, oof, oof. Oh, hi, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is Deb, everybody. She's a professional. I know, yeah. Yeah. It's five Behave. and five. It's shopping, tell her we're having a giggle. <laughs> we're having a giggle. Life's too short. Oh, dear. L R K Y zero five. Uh, Suzette has messaged in saying, Jake, just gorgeous, but teething. Ah, oh, can't believe it was 17 weeks ago tomorrow. I was doing my ironing, watching JM, waiting for him to be born. Is that when it was? And then I think I felt as on tender hooks as you did, oh. Suzette. Teething. Um, there's lots of teething rings that you can get that are BPA free that you can put in the freezer. Yeah. Aston Parsons. Yep. So good. It's like um, it's teething granules and it's all herbal and you can get it from very well-known chemists. Get it off the counter. I think you, sometimes you're limited because it's, um, yeah, you're limited to how many you can buy because there's such a shortage for the demand of it. Really? Yeah, yeah. When, um, when Charlie was teething, it was our saving grace. Good luck, hon. Oh, that might be the oh. ones. Delphiniums, that's it. Victoria, how did you know? Well, Vicky, how did you know that? I was going, <laughs> it was nothing like delphiniums. Delphiniums, how did you get delphiniums from Philan? Philippine Um Yeah, <laughs> oh, they were your dad's favourite. Oh, hun, they're beautiful. They're mm. really beautiful. They've they got are. a real status and presence. Mm. They are I mean, gorgeous. Thanks, hum. <laughs> you see, I thought I'd need to ask Mark Smith. He did his gardening show, didn't he? Mmm. Mmm. Who needs false yeah. chow ashore? Who needs gardener's question time? Who needs it? We've got Mark Smith. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're dinky, 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 dinky Labradorites. Always a really useful one to have in your stash because everything seems to work with Labradorite. And if you want to just do yeah. a little bit of an ethereal glow with something, I think they'd work really nicely with the aquamarine that we had on earlier. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, don't judge me on this. I'm just going to no, try it. No, I think it. they would, yes. Yeah. Yeah, they would. They almost look like a silver diamond next to a pearl, don't they? Actually, they do. Yeah. With that pre-night as well, that's going to um, mm. look nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, wow, 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 wow. Mm. Did I just make another odd noise? Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that? Have you seen the... Um... <clears throat> I was talking about it last time I was there. Have you seen the musical Sing? No. Me too. It's amazing. It's the best film ever. And there's a little pig, and he is a camp pig in a gold spandex leotard. <gasps> and there's the song, She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. Yeah! <laughs> And um, now we prance around our kitchen, all four of us, in the <laughs> evening. <laughs> Got it, yeah! <laughs> now, oh, I want to take off my clothes. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take off our clothes. <laughs> WTRU454 pounds and 95. Great asset to your jewellery making with genuine gemstones, these dinky little labradorites. Great asset. Three ninety-five posts and packaging for all of your purchases all day. These would be really nice if you actually popped them into those chains that we had. Oh so yeah, you could, yeah, just yeah. dot them through. Yeah, beautifully proportioned yeah. alongside that. Perfect yeah, definitely. Size. Mm. Really, really, really sparkly. Look lovely as well alongside seed beads. Why is that yeah. pre-night strand moving? I don't know. It's been on there long enough to have stopped. But it, yeah. yeah. It's moving by itself. 
And it's stop. like kinetic energy, isn't it? I don't know, it's Somehow. just a bit weird. Mm. It's all just going a little bit weird here tonight. It is. Strange voices <laughs> in their it's heads. Leah's hair is creating kinetic energy in the studio. Mine could be as well. It's the combination of the two. Mike, I don't think you have any right to diss Leah's hair. You can slate your own hair as much as you like. Leave the Leah alone. Four pounds and ninety-five pence on live TV. He has been dissed. Right, WTRU four five. Let's crack on. We've just got a few minutes remaining to get you some more amazing deals to add into your order. Oh goodness, this is so delicious. Ooh, flipping egg. What was that? Sorry. Mike, I think you're digging a hole and I think you need to shut up now. <laughs> he's trying to say that Leah's hair looks like a loofah and now he's trying to say that that's a nice thing. I don't think you should ever call anybody a loofah. No. Mike? No, it's not overly complimentary. <laughs> Neon Appetite, all the way from Africa, with the most amazing deep teal tones mm. i think neon appetite is the only gemstone which naturally gives you a teal i can't think of anything else really mm. Mm. there you go again <laughs> oh let me see <laughs> thinking noise <laughs> my name is mm. i'm just going to go into my depression uh. <laughs> mm. um. Right, so to the morning crew who are watching the repeat of this show. Hello. Oh, no. Hello, my name is Deb. Oh. Mm -hmm. You remind me of someone. I'm reminding you of somebody. Mm. It's the pig from Sing. Is it, or is it me? Oh, come on, let's take off our clothes. <laughs> She's got it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you don't like the pig? He's annoying you even though you've not seen the film. He's amazing. He, it is the best film ever. I think it's going. It's going to turn. It's going to beat Chorus Line to be my favourite film of all time. Really? Possibly. Do I like it because I watched it with my children? We have fond memories. Uh, yes, but I've watched a lot of films with my children. Well, not actually a huge amount. Mm. Anyway, this is Neon Appetite. It's an incredibly old gemstone. We're talking millions and millions and millions of years. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. We're talking about a gemstone that formed around the same time as amber. Every single moment of this gemstone is steeped in history, and it's simply heat treated. Those incredible teal tones, really enhanced by the heat. There, the beautiful sea greens, oceanic greens. I hope I really, really like this a lot. We've got a lot of people showing interest on this one. We've only got a handful remaining. Loads of the items in today's show have been under £10. Mm, they have, actually. Yeah. RGRU98. Yeah. Have we got any of the blue diamonds left? Ooh. Uh, OK. The best deal there has ever been on this strand, ever, ever, ever. Lowest price previously has been £99.95. Uh, it's sixty nine ninety five. Just take the plunge. You will kick yourself. You wake up tomorrow and go, oh, I should have got that diamond strand. It's the type of thing that when you get at home, you are literally going to salivate and palpitate over. It is beautiful. What would you do with this strand, Deb? Oh, I think it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Stop. No, <laughs> Shh. Mm. Um. Oh. I, I was tempted to, to do a bracelet, but that's boring. That's just predictable. Oh, yeah, you so, saw a bracelet. Yeah. But because it was boring and predictable, I forgot. I'm, I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> just Joking. went straight I think a through. bracelet would be lovely. And one of our slider bracelets. Yes, mm. yeah. But a ring, a nice little bar of the diamonds across the front of a mm. ring would be gorgeous. Be channel set it. Channel set, yeah. Because that would protect it as well and sort of give it that bezel set look. And then I'd make some earrings so you've got the movement there. Probably mm. rosary linking. And then one of those pearls on the bottom from the kit. 
Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. Yeah. That's nice. So that's what I'd do. Gorgeous. That, that strand would actually go a really long way because... Look at the sparkle on it. Yeah. And each one of those has got all those facets on and, and all of the sparkle on each individual one. So if you take one out, you're still going to get huge, immense amounts of sparkle coming off there. That so is beautiful. a sensational strand. The people have just confirmed on my screen, Phil, is that just now? Huge congratulations. So in that case, we've got people, Victoria, um, oh, loads of anonymous shoppers in Dumfries and Galloway, in Kildare, in Maine, Hertfordshire, Yorkshire, Durham, Dorset. Good luck, everyone. That's a really, really, really impressive strand for that price. Really impressive. Hi, Liz. Do my eyes deceive me? Or have mm. most of the prices been under £10 this evening? Sorry I missed them. I had a meeting. What? Great oh. deals as always. Liz, I'm <laughs> sorry. But you cancel your meetings and you make jewellery maker a priority. <laughs> How was it? I went to a meeting the other night about data protection. Oh, it's all changed, hasn't it? Mm. Mm. And there we are. Yeah. Um, Liz, you've missed the most amazing deals. I would, really would recommend, if you've only just had a chance to watch, then go onto the website and have a look what was on tonight's show because I would say... At least 80% of the show has been under £10. And really, yeah. really, not just under £10 for the sake of it, really great savings and great deals to be able to get them to you for under £10 as well. 69 on that. Absolutely incredible. Should we have got to have... Should we hear you? One more time. One more time. I can't, I can't talk. No, that's it. We won't be able to squeeze one more in. Well, I can. I just might not say anything about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> How much... I would put this with the Labradorite. Seven ninety five for this completely natural. Oh, hello. Hang on. Nope. Wrong strand. Are we going with Labradorite? We're we going with Eyelight. Eyelight. Ignore Phil. <laughs> He stopped caring, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. 36, if anything, he is proving a point. He's going out with a band. He Make is. sure you're catching yeah. Phil's show tomorrow night as well. Myself and Phil. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you know who you are? Who? It's like you're partly Yoda. I am partly Yoda. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Yoda, I am. There you go. <laughs> Use the force, I will. <laughs> oh, I just cut my finger. Oh, no. Uh, 7 95 Do you need a plaster? Oh, 800, 6 trouble 4, 6 Carrots. Are you going? You're going to produce your last show as Gollum the whole way through. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> Poor Zena. Who's going to be your guest designer on your last show, Phil? Do you know? Oh, I'll have a look know. in a minute on my phone and see if it is me. Probably. She's moved in. Could be. So. Yeah. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence, thirty-six carrots, and we're us coming towards the end of our show now. That's gone quick. It's gone really quick. So you don't mm. know when you're back on. I do. All right, when you're well, back on Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday for a late show. Late show Wednesday. Yep. yep. And then the weekend. That's going to be Sunday via sculpture work. Yep. For a mid. Lovely, mm. lovely, and. Um, Huge thank you to everyone out there for watching this evening and, of course, taking part because without you, the show's quite boring. Um, I'm glad I don't have a meeting tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> Bring on the fun! Uh, I am with Gemma tomorrow night. Oh, are we? Yes, 
We jump a crow tomorrow evening, so I don't know what we'll be getting up to just yet, but I'm guaranteeing lots of fun. Um, tomorrow night, we're also going to try and do a few more bundles. Yeah, and what was the other request? Chrysocola. Chrysocola. Chrysocola and bundles have been requested for tomorrow, so hopefully... We've got Christ's Collar for tomorrow. It's already been put into the show for us for tomorrow. Brilliant on that request. So thank you for making the request. Always do so and we'll see. Obviously, we want you to buy things. So we will put things in the show that you can buy. I need to remember to bring in those dodgy chocolates for tomorrow night. The salted caramel espresso and vodka. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope you all have a really lovely rest of your evening. Or if you're watching on the repeat of the show enjoy the rest of your day and the uh, morning show will start imminently if you're watching that repeat if you're watching us live however um, continue to add to your order for the repeats of the show until midnight tonight for only one post and packaging price so mike any parting words for our fabulous viewers this evening have a great night from mike phil mind <laughs> the road deb parting words yeah. See you mm. Wednesday. Mm. See you Wednesday. See you I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Leah, we'll also see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Ooh. rest of your evening. Bye for now. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs.